Good morning. Oh, it's lovely to be back with you. How are you? Hope everybody's well. So we've got such an amazing four hours, my first four hours. Go easy on me. It's going to be, um, oh, it's going to be brilliant. We've got so much lined up for you today. Uh, Laura's in the hot seat. She's back with us. Uh, I want to say thank you also to our lovely Hannah for covering my show on Saturday. She was amazing, isn't she? She's such a natural. I know that uh, everybody's been saying she's got to do a regular slot. She's so good. She's got to do a regular show. So those of you actually that saw her uh, photograph on the Sewing Street uh, official page, then you may have already noticed the lovely jacket that Hannah was modelling. She was modelling this one, wasn't she? It was this one that she was wearing. Uh, we're going to be looking at that in the second hour with Sarah, who I think might actually be a brand new guest. She's certainly new to me, which is exciting. So she's very kindly filmed a demo for us, which we're going to be launching at nine o'clock. In fact, let's have a look at today's rundown. We've got this first hour, dress making. So this first hour, everything uh, from Calico in stock, amazing, with all of your bundles. We've got um, patterns. We've got lots of tools coming up all in this first hour. The second hour, as I said, is the Dylan jacket with Sarah. And it's the first time that we've had... Just keep talking to me, Joe. sorry. I'll just... My, um, my piece is a bit funny today. Uh, the Dylan jacket with Sarah is coming up at 9 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, we've got Moda fabrics. And then at 11, we're going to be comparing two of some of our favourite Elna sewing machines, the 780 and the 680. Uh, plus lots of bits and bobs in there as well. And then the repeat of yesterday's Tilden makes with Delphine, which were gorgeous with Debbie and Delphine yesterday. Uh, so it's a jam-packed lineup. Stay with us all morning. If you do want to get in touch with us, then please do get in touch via our in-house studio email address, studio at sewingstreet.com. That'll go straight up to Laura, my producer, and she can pass on any messages to us here down in the studio. Uh, also, if you do want to uh, comment on Facebook or get involved on our Facebook page, it's Sewing Street TV. Plus as well, absolutely, if you haven't already, join the Facebook fan page. You get so many great hints and tips. Everybody, like-minded sort of community, sharing all of their makes, which is a great, great place to be. So, should we get started with today's early bird? And it's a brand new early bird. So the great thing about the early bird, the first thing, when you tune in at 8 o'clock, set your alarms bright and early, you know the saying, the early bird catches the worm. We're going to do you a brilliant saving every single morning, first thing at 8 o'clock. Uh, might be something new, might be something that's one of our favourites, one of your favourites, something that's been on before. This is brand new at a special price of just $16.99. Now, I had a bit of a quick search this morning, and this is the most, uh, the lowest price that I've seen online by quite some way, actually. I think the lowest price I saw it was $19.99. And it's adorable, isn't it? It's got a zip fastener at the top, so you can keep everything lovely and lint and dust-free. It's a lovely quilted design, isn't it? And I love it with the... Uh, the uh, is it called like a, a, dow a doweling? Is that the official word for it? £16.99. And then your beautiful bunting with Union Jacks, the gingham. How country sort of kitsch is this it's so beautiful uh, great for, for storing all fabrics any of your books any of your patterns you could have this as a crochet bag pardon laura it's really nice isn't it and you've got that really lovely extended zip as well for less than 17 pounds it's got a really great sturdy base in fact let me just get my tape measure and we can measure it it is 17 inches, so it's a nice size as well. 17 inches across, very, very slightly, by 14 inches for just £16.99. And then you've got that side pocket as well, which is Velcroed. So if you do want to fit any of your tools, any of your patterns in there, then it's just going to keep everything nice and lint-free and dust-free. It's a big bag at a special price today. Remember, it's your early bird special, so it's only available while stocks last for today and today only. Tomorrow, I don't, I'm not sure what the actual price will be on this. Do we know? But as I say, I've only seen this online at nineteen ninety nine, so I'm not sure what it will go back up to. But it is the uh, the only price that we, it's the the best price that we'll be able to offer you on this sixteen ninety nine. What a lovely gift for somebody, even if you're thinking of making it because it's got that nice sturdy base. It's got like um, uh, a, a nice base that you you're going to be able to stand it up. I'm thinking as a crochet bag 
or a wool, you keep your knitting bits and bobs in. Just £16.99 £16 pence. Do make sure you're checking out your baskets as soon as you can. As I said, we've got loads to bring you today. Uh, it is going to be a jam-packed show, so do check out only one postage and packaging all day long. Right, so we start with one of the most exciting products of the day. Um, since day one of launching the show back in February, we had a bit of a list of things that we wanted to get on the show and of course recently we've been talking more and more about dressmaking with the Great British Sewing Bee being on and we said right we need some calico. One, it's so affordable, it's brilliant to be able to, to, to offer for dressmakers if you're making a toile. It's also great for quilters, it's great for uh, toy makers as well. It's so ridiculously affordable, I think every single person who's ordered the early bird or anybody who's planning to get involved today should just buy a few metres of this for their stash. It's so useful and the price is amazing. So, it is extra wide. You've got a lot of fabric there. It is beautiful, beautiful quality for £2.49 a half metre. That is what half a metre looks like. I think you already noticed it on the website. Well done, Eagle Eyes. There's loads of people who already checked out before we even went to the, uh, before we even bought in the graphics. Um, now, you've noticed in the graphics as well, it says it's quilters calico. Now, it feels slightly different to calico that I felt in the past. And the reason is because it's pre-shrunk. So it's so beautifully soft. It's ideal for quilting as well, or really nice maybe for, for linings of cushions if you want to do, you quilt sandwiches for, for, for cushion fronts, if you want to use it for cushion backs. Really nice, I'm thinking, for a memory bear or a calico doll to use, you know, as the body. It's got this really nice, almost, you know, like posh vanilla ice cream. That natural sort of seeding to it is so beautiful. But I am just thinking, if you're starting out dressmaking, you'll probably hear a lot that the term making up your own toile. It, it is ideal for that because of the price. It's £2.49. I really like it though. If you saw Debbie Shaw's demo yesterday with a Hessian, she was talking about working with different Hessians. If you do want to do some of those lovely sort of country kitchen, lovely chic uh, designs maybe with table runners or cushions or even covering jam jars and coffee mugs like she was doing, then this would be really nice. £2.49, just a reminder, remember, it's already pre-shrunk, it's already pre-shrunk, quilters pre-shrunk, half a metre uh, for £2.49, so normally calico would shrink by about 10% when you're obviously washing it at home, so you would have to factor that into your measurements, whereas with this, already done for you so absolutely ideal whether you are a dressmaker quilter bag maker toy maker home furnishings just generally for your stash at 249 remember it's one postage and packaging all day long one pmp all day long so check out as soon as you can we've ordered obviously hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of units of this it will be a staple part of our web shop it's definitely worth going onto the website but bringing it to air is so exciting lots of people multi-buying in fact somebody's buying 10 meters i'm not surprised i'm not surprised well done everybody just keep going through make the most of it as soon as you can as i say it's 140 wide 140 wide okay so, if you saw um, my show with, who was it that did this? Was it with Adele? Um, yeah, it was with Adele. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. We did the denim dresses and it looks so lovely with all the different colour denims. Now, you may remember, I think her name is Laura because we had Laura and Tree in. Um, Laura is the lady who's on the front of the pattern and she's from So Different and she is absolutely incredible at designing. We've got two different sizes, I believe. Oh, no. Is it just the same one, just one's open potentially? Colour block dress. So... You get your pattern, you also get your fabrics. Now this first one is with your denims. Uh, so I think I have got, actually got the example of this as well to show you. You have a metre and a half of your heavyweight denim on the bottom. A metre and a half of your medium blue. 
and a meter of your light blue and you get so you get plenty there to make the dress in whichever sort of combination you want you also do have an option of having it with no sleeves as well 49 pounds and 99 pence so it was on i tell you when i, I probably can remember it was very very recently this is the option without the uh it was with me and Liam. It was with Liam, wasn't it? Adele Rowland, yeah. That is gorgeous, isn't it? I love the different colour blocking. And it's going to look completely different with different uh, fabrics as well, or having it with sleeves. It was on the 16th of June. 16th of June this year, if you do want to watch that back on YouTube. All of our shows are stored there forever. So when you get your pattern home, you can sew along with Adele and you can watch. And she's a fantastic teacher, isn't she, Jo? I must say... She's one of Joe's favourites, she is. It's a lovely A-line dress, and I think, actually, do you know what? It's ever so flat, flattering, and if you are making something for the first time, don't need to worry about having a zip, no zips. Uh, you don't need to worry about having too many sort of fittings and darts to this. It's a lovely A-line skirt with a nice scoop neck. Uh, so definitely worth having a go at that one, and all of your, uh, remember, all of your sizes are from size 8 to 26. Pardon? I can hear you when I'm not talking. What did you say? And then on the reverse, you can see the breakdown of all of the sizes and your widths. Okay. There you go. For the sleeve version, you'll need two metres of bias binding as well from around the edge. It's, it's a really lovely pattern. And they're paper patterns, so they're going to last. I would keep them as they are and just trace around the size that you need because it goes from sizes 8 to 26. So a great variety of sizes. So we've also got it in the lovely... See, this is really nice for summer as well. They're sort of completely... Have a look. That's the denim. And then if I show you the, the pink version... And you can see the difference, how gorgeous and lightweight this is in cotton. I think it's going to be a very sort of versatile dress, actually. It's going to, uh, it's going to go with lots of different fabrics that you've got. $39.99. How lovely is that? Again, a nice lightweight A-line dress. Beautiful. So, so sizes from 8 to 26. We've got enough fabric in here for you to do the largest size. Uh, it's only a difficulty two star, which is, you know, something that if you are an adventurous beginner, absolutely go for, especially if you've, uh, if, if you've got access to YouTube, you'll be able to sew along with Adele from home if you want to watch back. Again, that same date was the 15th or 16th of June. 16th of June. Thanks, Joe. Did you hear him shouting then? 16th. The sixth eighth. It, you might as well just shout to me through here if my top back's not working very well. It's all right. I'll just, just go along with it. So you get a metre of your coral, a metre of nude, and a metre and a half of black. Don't forget your pattern as well for 39 99 That's a lot of fabric, isn't it? And I do like those colour combinations. I like them a lot. Imagine, Joe just said, now you press the green button on your remote and you can reach in and feel the fabric. That is going to be a thing, isn't it, one day? That is going to be a thing. I remember them talking about not so long ago that it won't be too long until we have not TV screens, like holograms. Have you heard that, Joe? He works on the Gadget Show, so surely you should know that by now, because I've heard on the grapevine on the, uh, the gadget grapevine, because I don't know whether you heard when Whitney did her concert tour and she did a hologram concert tour recently. Elvis has done it as well. So I think it is going to be a thing that we don't have tellies, just have holograms in the corner of the room. Right. Oh, this... So I was so gutted that I wasn't here on Saturday. Um, I know that Hannah and, and Janice had a brilliant, brilliant show, and it's the most adorable dungaree dress it's so so cute with the attention to detail on the collar and the buttons it's just so beautiful how gorgeous isn't it so we've got the option that you can see on the mannequin here is this one it comes with your absolutely gorgeously cute pattern which is suitable for ages euro two to eight want or um let me see um, six months old to eight years old. So a toddler to a child, which is a great range, isn't it? Imagine, like, a little baby version. 
Maybe if you've got siblings as well. I, I always think it looks so cute when there's little siblings who are different heights and different ages but wearing the same things. Maybe for a wedding even. Or a christening, that would be so pretty. This would be ideal actually and really sort of easy to wear. What about flower girls? Yeah, because they like to be the same, but different sisters do quite often, actually. So you could have the same fabric as the skirt and then a different sort of colour on the top, couldn't you? Anyway, with this one, you do get your fabric, which is enough fabric, I think, to make for an eight-year-old. You have a metre and a half of orange. Spots on cream. How much do we get of this? Sorry, a metre and a metre of your lovely poplin weight. It's ever so soft, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I think it is a metre. Let me show you, look. Joe's saying that's not a metre, yeah. There you go, look, there's loads. When you see it all folded up, it's quite deceiving, isn't it? But remember, you get loads and loads of fabric. Absolutely plenty, let's face it. How many of these dresses are you gonna make with that? That's gorgeous. Oh, I love it, we could do like, yeah, we could do a, uh, I was going to say life size, but you could do one for, um... <laughs> They're so cute. I wonder what size that one is. That looks about a five, six-year-old, doesn't it? It's so gorgeous, even with the detail of the bow. So Janice was our first sort of live guest here in the studio on Saturday. And she's brilliant, isn't she? We absolutely love Janice. Those of you that have known her for, for years, it's, it's so good to see her back with us. Um, so to be able to have her here in the studio was just brilliant and she's fantastic at dressmaking as well this is her sort of this is her to a t doing children's wear this is what she's done for years and years so you're in safe hands if you want to watch back the demonstration it was on saturday's show which was what date was saturday 27th if you want to watch that back i love a choice of buttons as well this is a great time to sort of raid your button stash and get some lovely big or wooden buttons would look nice as well so that's the one color way we've also got i've got it in oh gorgeous it will look so nice in the uh the stars as well your big stars rose and hubble a meter and a half of your poplin beautiful rose and hubble stars in pink and then you also have a meter of the same fabric that was in the last bundle as well that's so cute. Now it's up to you, of course, you can just make option. There's two patterns here, really. So this is a really nice wardrobe builder and the detail, you can have it all buttoned all down the back. Uh, Janice hasn't done buttons, so you don't necessarily need to do the buttons, but it's really nice how you've got these attention to detail with the pleats on the front. So pretty. 24 99 great skill builder. And I must say, if you're starting out, one, I think children's wear is really great to do because there's not as much fabric going through your machine. It doesn't take up as much fabric, but also you don't need to worry about darts and sort of fitting, things like that. It's, it's different, isn't it, with children's wear? So it's a great place to start, but you're still learning all of these great skills that are very transferable. Lovely Peter, uh, Peter Pan collar is cute. Just 24 99 so that's the other colour option that we have in the dungaree skirt. Should we do some um, more fabric? By the way, the calico is absolutely flying out. There are so many people who have taken advantage of that. Can I just show you once again um, why? The price on this is crazy. It's £2.49 and a half metre, and half a metre is 140 wide. Look at that! You can see why everybody's loving it. Remember, it's pre-shrunk as well. If you want to use it for quilting, if you want to use it for dressmaking. Remember, is this... Um, going to be cut off the bolt for you. Half a metre is £2.49. So buy as much as you want. £2.49. Remember, you can um, you can keep ordering as much as you want. That's that's a good point, actually. We should... Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm virtually 100% positive that it won't... It will be cut off the bolt for you, especially as it's going to be for... Um, ideal for dressmaking or for for uh, toy making, bag making, cushions, whatever you want to use it for. Half a metre is £2.49. The denim. Oh, it's it's linen. Oh, it was confusing them when you were saying denim because it's called, now don't let this confuse you, it's called denim. It's denim colour, but it's actually your sort of wash linen. It's absolutely 
beautiful quality linen. Uh, it is £5.99 half metre. And once again, so much for your money. If you want to make a beautiful jacket or a lovely suit or a pair, a pair of men's shorts even, would look amazing in this. A dress, it's just ever so comfortable. I'll always remember uh, Jane Greenough. She wears a lot of linen and she'll always tell me that she always wears linen. And she says, darling, this is rich wrinkles. It's not creased, it's rich wrinkles. I love that. Just £5.99. We miss Jane so much. I can't wait to have her, her, her back in the studio. She's hilarious. 100% uh, stone washed linen in denim. Five pounds, 99 a half meter. Dressmakers, it's gorgeous quality and it is absolutely ideal for, for your dressmaking projects. Especially in this color as well. How nice would that look? As I'm thinking like quite a, a relaxed jacket. I'm wondering whether, do you know what? It would go for this next, next pattern. That would look really, really nice in the Dylan, the Dylan jacket that we've got coming up in the next hour. What? No. Calico sold out. We had like 500 something units. What? Oh my word, it's gone. Right, we'll make sure that we get some more of that. Well done if you managed to get it. It's gone absolutely crazy. Now you've opened your order, you've already paid that poster and packaging. So remember, stay with us or shop the web. It's definitely worth. If you go onto the website, in fact, I'll show you because there's so much on there. Obviously, we're on air now for four hours every single day, but we still don't get a chance to show you everything that's in our stock. So if you've bought anything, and this, this, I, I'm telling this for any day. If you've bought anything, it's definitely worth it. Once you've paid your post and packaging, even if you've checked out, you can come back and buy anything from the show or on the web shop at any point. So if you go to www.sewingstreet.com, did I say too many W's again? I always do that. www.all the W's, scroll down, past the Watch Live page. It will take you to Jewelry Maker. Don't worry, you're still on the right page. Um, then. Uh, you can sign up to our newsletter, absolutely, please do. If you shop our catalogues, you can at the moment. Let me just scroll down. So hang on, it's saying it's still available. Um, click on it, I think it's all. Oh, try, try and buy some if you can. I th Laura's telling me it's sold out. Um, have a go. Joe, check out, check out as soon as you can, Joe. <laughs> so if, you, uh, if we just go back to the, the section, you will see everything from today's show. Um, go back, Joe. So if you then go back to uh, this page, then you scroll down, you'll see all of our sewing machines are available. Remember, we're gonna be talking through the 780 and the 680 today. Um, and then underneath, you'll see all the products from today's show. So you'll be able to find those easily here. Have a big scroll through if you wanna be eagle-eyed, or you can also go to our categories. So. Hopefully, we're going to get Calico as just a bit of a staple. It's always going to be there on our web shop, although it sells very, very quick, as you see. But if you do go to the category section, then all the plain fabrics, you'll see all the books, you'll see all of the kits, all of the patterns. Everything that we have is listed in the category section. There it is. So if you've already bought something, even if you're just needing some more sewing needles or machine needles or uh, you want to get a panel or you want to find some fabric, then absolutely have a look on the web shop now you've already paid your post and packaging. So, should we go back to the stone uh, linen? This is lovely neutral colour as well. Nice for gents, I always think. I always think uh, linen trousers always look nice. Just £5.99 and it's great and neutral, isn't it? I can see my Kieran in a... Um, a linen suit. I've got a feeling he wore a linen suit to a wedding we went to a few years ago in Portugal. And, um, yeah, it's just nice, isn't it? When you're on holiday, especially, if you're going to an abroad wedding, maybe in the next couple of years, we just found out we're going to um, a wedding in Crete in 2022. <gasps> Very exciting. Kieran was asked to be best man, and it was just lovely. So now I'm like, right, we've got serious um, excitement now. 2022, that'll probably be the next holiday we go on. <gasps> £5.99, a half metre. Although I'm excited to sort of have a bit of a, a venture around this country in the next few years. There's so many beautiful places, aren't there? I want to come down to see Lynn in Cornwall. £5.99, a half metre for your stone colour wash linen. Beautifully soft. 
Just £5.99. She's got a lovely view of the seaside where she lives. Only because I've seen photographs. Hi, Louise. Good morning. Ladies and Joe. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. This is like your shirt. So on Saturday, I, um, I'd, uh, I, I got a bit carried away with sitting out in the sun. I'm just going to be honest with you. Sat in the sun too long. And you know when you're a bit like, oh, gosh, I don't feel great. So um, Hannah just said, I'll do it. It's fine. But I'm absolutely fine now. Must make sure you drink plenty of water as well in the sun. I definitely didn't. So we've got the royal blue, we've got the lovely green, and we've also got your turquoise. This is your royal blue. It's 5.99 and a half metre, and it's your linen look cotton. Should we just confuse it anymore? We've gone from denim to denim colour on linen, and now there's this denim look, linen look cotton in like a denim blue colour. Oh, my word. Right. It's a good job, um... Yeah, if you're confused, don't worry, so am I. £5.99 and a half metre. So, I wonder whether if I show you over... overhead... No! <laughs> then you'll see the sort of grain. You can see almost like the warp and weft to it, which it's... Um, it is a cotton. It is 100% cotton, but it's got that linen look. So, if you do get a bit frustrated with linen and the way that it creases, it wrinkles, then this is going to give you a linen look, but it is going to be a lot nicer to press, I must say. It's going to be a lot easier to press. Nice blue as well, isn't it? That royal blue. Remember to press your green button if you want to touch it. <laughs> oh. No, sorry, yeah, I'm going to get complaints now. Like, no, press the green button, I can't reach into the screen. <gasps> Let's do the green. I'm excited to be with you for the four hours. Please message in. You've got to keep us company. If we're going to be here for an extra hour, please, please, please do keep us com company. What do you mean? Joe's like pleading with you, like, please. What's wrong with me and Laura, Joe? He's like, please come keep me company. £5.99 in Emerald. He's struggling today, isn't he? He's just moved house. It's stressful, isn't it, moving house? I had to do it in two small van loads. Five pounds, 99, a half metre. I wonder whether this would be nice with the, the block pattern as well, actually. You could use those three colours that we've just bought out. Is uh, cotton suitable? Suitable for denim, heavier cottons, scuba and other um, wovens. The only thing is, is this is quite a loose weave, so I would be aware of that. Just five pounds, 99 for your linen look cotton in emerald. And then the lovely, as our cat says, turquoise. Turquoise, beautiful. It's quite um, a, a bright turquoise, actually, I must say. It's more of a sky blue, but bright blue. Yeah, peacock, I'd call this. Mediterranean. Oh, gosh. So I had a day on Sunday where I watched... Um, have you watched the Eurovision programme yet on film on uh, Netflix? Oh, it's so funny. It was funny. That's a lovely colour. And then I watched Mamma Mia 2 afterwards, and it's this colour. £5.99. half metre for your linen. Look, cotton in turquoise. Isn't that lovely? But remember, it is, as I say, a slightly, like, looser weave. It's beautiful cotton. OK. <clears throat> um, let's have a look at the most popular dressmaking book that we stock. If you're wanting to do a bit of a masterclass or you want to do a, a workshop from the comfort of your own home, get this book. Jules Fallon is a lady who I know personally and she is one of the best dressmaking teachers, in my opinion, out there. She uh, has got a wealth of knowledge when it comes to dressmaking and teaching as well. And I always think that that, that sort of really bodes well when you've got a book of this level. It's the complete 
guide to dressmaking. So it's all the essential techniques and skills that you will need uh, and you've got some great projects in here as well. So let's have a bit of a flick through because it goes right from choosing the right threads and the right fabrics and getting the right tools. You hear a lot of jargon, she'll sort of dissect all of the terminology that you're going to hear through your dressmaking uh, sort of journey. So you can see calico, Ooh, oh I'm so excited to see all your twirls on the um, on the fan page. So this is our lovely uh, Jules Fallon. Talking about the kit first, talking about what is an essential and what is a luxury. Essential equipment here. You'll be able to find most of these all on our web shop as well. So if you um, if you do get the book home and you want to have a bit of a shop for some of these items, then have a look on the website. Needle know-how, talking about hand needles, talking about machine needles. It really breaks them all down of what they look like and why you would use each. Talking about different scissors and why you would use different um, scissors as well, or alternative cutting tools. Even on the Great British Sewing Bee, I saw dressmakers using rotary cutters. Primarily, I think of the uh, rotary cutters as, uh, as patchworkers, so it's great to know dressmakers use them too. Dissecting sewing machine feet. We all have machines that come with all strange looking feet and you, uh, feet and you don't, I'm not sure what they, uh, they do. She dissects that. Choosing your thread. Dressmaking haberdashery. And then it goes into your prep. So talking about fabrics, understanding fabrics, understanding what um, calico is again. Linen, chiffon, cotton lawn, denim, silks, wools, knitted, bonded, special occasion. And, and what patterns will suit what fabrics and how to choose the correct fabric. I think that was one thing that was a reoccurring thing during the, the Great British Sewing Bee was different people choosing the wrong fabrics for the item and making life more difficult for themselves by choosing the wrong uh, the wrong fabric. So talking about that. Interfacing, which we use as well in the next demo. You need some interfacing, gives you lovely structure on your, your facing. Uh, fabric preparation, talking about pressing and talking about uh, patterns, dissecting patterns, understanding symbols. I mean, I'm not even... a, a sort of a dip in the ocean of all of the different tips that she's giving you here. Making and fitting your twirl, so it talks to you about how you can use your calico, which all of you have bought today. Can't believe that's sold out. Lying out your pattern paper, working with pattern fabrics. We saw that again on the fa uh, on the sewing bee, didn't we? The different uh, pattern matching. I've watched it, by the way. I've had so many people messaging me like, right, do not look at the Sewing Street fan page because the spoilers left, right and centre. I'm really happy who won. I am very happy. She's amazing, so is she. I'm not going to say just in case anybody else is, it was in my position and not yet caught up. If you've not, why not? We're nearly a week on, aren't we? Gosh. Marking your fabrics, although I only watched it over the weekend. I think I watched it on Saturday. Adapting your pattern. How many of these books are left? Oh, there's only literally a handful of these left. It's, it, there's, there's only four. If you do want one, be quick. There's lovely projects in here as well, which when you actually break it down, how much it costs you to go on one of Jules's workshops or even just a dressmaking pattern, at £11.99, it will go through all of these different techniques, set in sleeves, uh, raglan sleeves, cuffs, French seams, different sorts of collars and yokes. Absolutely amazing. So you, different facings, there's so much there. We're going to move on because there's literally only a couple of those, but... It is a book that we absolutely love. And I thought, in fact, that price looks low. It's supposed to be $15.99. Don't ask. Oh, my word. I, I was about to say, don't ask how, don't ask why. I know exactly how and I know exactly why. I did a dressmaking show. It was my first ever dressmaking show here. And I got to pick something that I wanted to reduce. And I picked this. And they've kept it at that price. So, yeah, you can thank me for that. $15.99. No, $11.99. Let's do... This one, the long line jacket. This is so lovely. I tell you what, this would be really, really nice um, in, I'm thinking like a tweed style wool or a boiled wool would look lovely. What about like a jacquard? That would look gorgeous. Even a denim would look cool. I think denim would look cool. Do you know what I love about this? Look at those big pockets. This could be very, very smart. Um, you could have this, like this sort of style, you could have it and it almost looks like a, a mother of the bride style jacket, doesn't it? Like it could be really, really smart indeed. Or if you had it in a boiled wool or if you had it in like a, a, a denim, 
it would look completely different. I think this is going to be a jacket that's actually, I love a jacket that you can just throw on over anything and it just is comfortable. It's going to be warm, of course, depending on your fabrics as well. You've got your pockets, nice country walk. It even says you could use a uh, velvet with this or a twill. Would look really, really nice. Velvet on the outside. That would look lovely. Very opulent. I can see our Paul rocking a velvet one like that. In fact, like a boiled wool. I think Mike Kieran's got a similar jacket like this, boiled wool. Our Paul's going to be back soon. We're so excited. He's back on the 7th, isn't he? Oh, look, we just haven't, they haven't told Laura. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And it doesn't have a fastening. It's just a hook and eye. So absolutely brilliant. Love that. And there's different panel opportunities, which I love. When you've got these seams, one, it gives you, if you've got seams like this, then it gives you a chance to shorten it. Because whenever I try on uh, coats like this, they come to there on me. I am quite short. I didn't realise how short I was until I was saying that I was five foot four for a long time and, and, and Liam said to me, I don't think you are five foot four and I've measured myself here and I'm five one. I don't know where those extra three inches have gone during lockdown, but I've definitely like got wider and shorter. It's not fair. <laughs> but anyway, these seams are brilliant for that. Laura's like, move on, move on. <laughs> Oh, these would be nice for Jenny's uh, trousers. So, how lovely are these? These are lockdown pants, aren't they? Lockdown trousers. As soon as I get home all the time, jeans come off, joggers come on. But they're actually joggers that you use where, I'm thinking outside, they've got a lovely um, elasticated ankle as well. So if you uh, do love that fabric, we've got that one first. It's a crepe, I believe. <laughs> and it's a lovely, uh, lovely olivey green, isn't it? Your tea party polka dot. 100% polyester. It's like a bubble crepe, it's so beautiful. £7.99, and can you see how lovely and lightweight that is? So that would make a lovely um, top as well, because it drapes so nicely at the front. That would be really beautiful. But ideal for those trousers, ideal. Uh, if you do want to, to see Jenny working with this fabric, have a look on YouTube. You'll be able to find her. £7.99. Oh, okay, right. That, that's about to sell out. It is busy, busy, busy this morning. Thank you for your company. Come and say hello to us. Message in studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. We've also got... Um, do you want to do the... Pyramid? This is ever so soft, you know. I wish we had the green button activated that you can come and feel this because it's ever so soft. It'd be lovely for those trousers again or a dress. This would be nice for the little girl's, um, the little girl dungaree dress, that'd be nice. What's Kat making with this? She made some trousers. She did it. Well done. Seven pounds 99. Do you know what I like about this? It doesn't have a direction as such, does it? So if you are making the trousers, those trousers are a great first trouser project, actually, aren't they? Because it's not, you don't need to worry about the, um, you know, uh, when you start to look at jeans and facings and flies and all of this, it, it really scares me. But, um, yeah, they'd be really nice. Go on, what, sorry, Joe? Just £7.99. No. You're pyramidy. I think this would make nice office wear. I don't know why, what it reminds me of. Summer office wear. I think I've got a top very similar to this, actually, with a tie. It's not the one that... You, but, the, but I do have a top very similar to it, don't I? With a tie. A tie, as in like a tie like I've got today, like a tie. Not a tie, tie. No, gosh. I don't even know if I'd know how to do a tie anymore. I used to wear a tie to school. Oh, I must do. Yeah, I must do. I just hadn't thought about doing it for years. Oh, gosh, you know, do you know how to do a Windsor knot? What other knots are there, Joe? 
It stops at that, his knowledge of tie knots. Seven pounds, 99 and a half meter for your Bertie fabric. And really lovely colors, really lovely. Okay. I do know it. Um, what would you want to do next, Sorry, Laura? Mm, oh, thank you, Joe. These are brilliant. They are absolutely ideal. Obviously, if you've got an overlocker, um, then they're ideal because they're all of your very useful colours. So it's a great chance to stock up on 1,200 metres of each of these. You've got 24 in six different colours. So you've got 1,200 metres of your black, four of those reels. They're nice big cones, aren't they? And they're Madeira thread, so they're really lovely quality. 100% polyester. Um, you've then got your lighter grey. You've then got your white. Then like a cream. And then like a nude. You're getting loads! £74.99. You like living life on the edge, don't you, Joe? He wants to see how far I could tip it before. All of those different colours, £74.99. Um, and, yeah, you get 1,200 metres on it each, 100% polyester. They're the nice big cones as well for your overlocker, aren't they? They're, they're going to last a very, very long time indeed. Remember, when you are looking at overlocking, uh, if you think about the over the stitch that it does, I was just looking, I haven't got one on today, but um, it it uses a lot more thread than your sewing machine. So having the large cones, I think, is is almost sort of invaluable really otherwise you're gonna to have to keep changing your overlocking thread and you know how much we hate that <laughs> i know how much everybody's sort of like oh i don't want to change my thread even though you know you can get some great overlockers now that are just a what are those what's that called air threading <laughs> you could tell though couldn't you from my action what i was on about uh 74 pounds and 99 pence all of your great colours, don't get me wrong, I love it when you get a bit experimental with variegated colours and with rainbow colours, but you don't always need that. Don't need that. For your sportswear, for any of your jersey, it's absolutely brilliant to work with an overlocker. All right. Um, Jules Fallon's books are virtually sold out, by the way. If you do want an alternative, a different uh, dressmaking book. We've got work to weekend. Uh, this is lovely, I've not seen this book before. This looks really, really cool. A collection of modern sewing patterns features seven main designs with instructions on how to adapt the pattern to create your own variations. Oh, we love a pattern hack, don't we? Love a pattern hack. So you've got seven that Joe, uh, we've got Jules's book sold out completely. So if you are after a book, why not have a go at this? It's seven different patterns, but then lots of different variations. Let's have a look through. Your patterns are in the back. You've love, got lovely paper patterns. So even if you were to break that down, your price per pattern is fantastic. Oh, and it looks like you've got um, a bag at the back there. So start, starting to talk about your staple foundations what things that you're going to, um, what you're going to need, the different sort of names, the different jargon you're going to hear. When I first started in the sewing world, it was all a bit mind boggling, if I'm honest. It was quite, um, it's like learning a new language. So I love books like this that actually, before you even start in a project, they'll really break it down for you. Uh, so it talks about grading and trimming and reducing and releasing. Uh, it will talk about shapers and stabilizing, pressing, and the art of unpicking. I like that. It is an art, isn't it? Um, your sewing machine, when it's great to hand sew and what stitches to use using an overlocker, your key techniques. So once again, another very, very thorough book with great images talking through the different ways to adapt it. So if you want to add pockets, if you want to add a patch pocket, an inseam pocket, a side seam pocket, a slant pocket, an all-in-one pocket, different waistbands, different zippers, different facings, different collars, buttonholes, piping, mitered corners, fitting and darning, in between the line, fit adjustments. 
So it's all well and good having a pattern, but it's it's wanting to make it to your body. The whole reason I think so many of us get into dressmaking is through pure frustration of not being able to find garments that fit us right in the shops or having the nice fabric choices that we have as dressmakers. So then on to the project. So I like that it goes through the week as well. Monday, your jumpsuit. I can see you rocking that, Laura. I do love a jumpsuit. I love jumpsuits. It is my sort of thing. It's really nice. Good to be able to learn how to do a, a jumpsuit as well, isn't it? Well, this is why, Laura, you should learn how to make your own jumpsuit, because she says, I've really struggled to find jumpsuits that fit in the shop. Have you got a long torso? See, these trousers are the ones that Jenny made. They look like the ones that Jenny's made, don't they? So if you manage to get any of these fabrics, why not get the book and have a go at doing the trousers? I know that um, Kat did it. If Kat can do it, you can do it. <laughs> if Kat could do it, you could do it. Kat's terrible. <laughs> Kat will be watching. I love you, Kat. I'm only joking. She's actually a fantastic dressmaker. Um, there's your dress. See, that would look lovely as well. I'm thinking wedding. <gasps> or just day dress, depending on what fabrics you're using. That looks like Hattie. Yes. This looks so much like Jabu's girlfriend. Doesn't it? Oh, he's zooming right in. Looks so much like Hattie. Um, your easy breezy dress. This would look really nice in a linen as well. Some of the, maybe the, the stone washed linen that we had. Your easy breezy dress. That's really nice. And I like the way of using the different stripes. We're on Wednesday. We've got a trench suit. Gosh, that's really cool. Very on trend indeed. I love this as well. And a simple variation. So let me just show you. So you've got a jacket basically here. So even though the seven patterns is actually so much more, because that's a jacket, but then they turn it into a skirt and a top. Trench suit. Very nice. I like that skirt. Little jacket. It's like a bolero style jacket. We're on Thursday. Oh, he's just singing uh, the Craig David song now. Well, <laughs> not that full version. Your shirt dress. That is really nice. That would look really nice as well in this spotty green, wouldn't it? Like a poplin um, or a poplin cotton would look beautiful as well. And then we're on Friday, work to weekend. Office by day, party, party, party by night. And then our weekend, your T-shirt. Nice wardrobe builder, actually, isn't it, this book? Even though it says the seven projects, there's actually so much more than that. And different ways of changing it. Turtleneck, like a plait. How has she done that? That's really nice. <laughs> I'm very much into it. I don't know whether you can tell from my plait today, but I'm very much getting into during lockdown, trying different plaits. <laughs> And then you've also got a backpack and out of office backpack. So lots to choose from in there and an organiser, £22.99. That'd be a really nice gift for somebody. Really nice gift for someone, just so you're aware the book's selling out very quickly. So we've got two new pairs of scissors, which only launched very, very recently. The purple one or the grey one? Okay. We can go with these first. Right, these are your side bent dress making shears or scissors. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're from uh, Janome. They are soft and sharp. Nine inch uh, shears for £24.99. Now we've got these and then we've also got the serrated option, uh, which would be great for jersey. But these for your cottons are really lovely and it does mean that you can then also um, sharpen these in your ordinary uh, sort of scissor sharpener. Different with the serrated scissors, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but it, they are beautiful quality. They're actually, now they're from Janome, but the stainless steel that's used is, it's got Kai K A I, and those of you that know any of their rotary blades, know that they are amazing. Uh, uh, it's ringing bells, but I need to sort of re-research what it is, but this little name here, K-A-I, Joe, I'll show you in a second. Oops, thank you. Very, very famous Japanese sort of steel. Um, now, 
uh, sorry that they've they've got the oil still on them a bit, but I think they've been um, oiled recently. But uh, obviously, with them being side bent, it aids itself well to being able to cut along the desk and keeping it sort of straight, keeping all your fabric flat to the desk. So they're your non-serrated ones, they're your dressmaking scissors. It's always great to invest in a really nice pair of dressmaking shears. We've also got the serrated ones. Now, the serrated ones, if you're working with any slippy fabrics, or if you're working with any of your jerseys, then these are gonna be ideal. Anything that's gonna be slightly more difficult or lighter weight fabric, the, the serrated edge is, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but it's just ever so slightly sort of grain right on the edge of, of your scissors there. Um, I don't know whether you are gonna be seeing it. Joe's adamant that he wants to try and show you, but it's right on the edge it's got slight serration, which will mean it will just grip onto your fabric. You can just about see it, but it means please do not put these in your scissor sharpeners. Um, but they are they are fantastic if you're working with something that's slightly harder to keep flat as you're as you're cutting. They're only nine ninety nine. Tell you what, that's a brilliant price for serrated scissors. Just no surprise, I've not seen these before. And again, because they are side bed dressmaking shears, I find they are ideal. As you can see, they sort of just stand up as they are anyway but it's ideal to cut. You don't cut up in the air like this, do you? You cut onto the desk. Um, you cut your fabric flat. So when you're cutting through, it's gonna be ideal for that. Just nine pounds, 99. It's so satisfying, isn't it? Hearing a good pair of scissors, the snip. So they're your Janome side bent dressmaking serrated shears. Uh, all of the books will always talk about pressing. When you're going on any workshop, when you're starting out dressmaking, uh, whether you're working with the um, work to weekend wardrobe, whether you're working from Jewel Fallon book, it will talk to you about how important pressing is. This is the most mini, adorable little sleeve board or pressing mat. Even if you're a quilter, actually, I think this is quite useful for, I'm thinking like, you know when you're doing lots of half square triangles and you're doing lots of little pressing? How ideal is this? I just want to have a look. Uh, Jules' book's now sold out, but right at the start, she does go into quite some detail about the prep of your, of your, um, your fabric. So when you are pressing, um, it will say it's an absolute sort of essential, but it, flats down, it does uh, sort of go down nice and flat and it's just £7.99. Great for, um, for travelling. Great for travelling. An iron. It's part of your essential equipment in Jules Fallon Book. An iron and an ironing board. <laughs> That's what you need with it, obviously, is an iron. <laughs> Remember, Eureka, I knew you needed something with this. It's your iron. <laughs> Uh, but it's so cute, isn't it? Ideal for uh, for pressing your sleeves as well. I always find that very, very difficult to be able to get right to those shoulder seams. Right, that's your pressing board. Oh, how cute is this? Talking of gift ideas and I was saying about the book. My mum desperately needs a new sewing box. She's had hers for a good 30 years. Which, don't get me wrong, it's a bit of a, uh, she should keep it, definitely. But um, if you're starting maybe a new hobby or a new skill and maybe you want to do EPP, for example, hand sewing, uh, why not have a dedicated box just to your EPP? Because in here you've got your little pin cushion on the top there so you can put your pins in. There's an extra little pouch, maybe for any buttons or bits and bobs. You've got your storage compartment at the top and then you've got plenty of space in the bottom as well to store any fabrics or any bits and bobs. It's a really nice size box for just $16.99. And for me, this is all about that really very cool, very contemporary, uh, very on trend leopard print case, so cool. And I just think those of us that maybe don't have a dedicated sewing room, one of these she sheds or a craft room, or if you don't and you you are sort of working from your bedroom or a spare bedroom, if you're working in the lounge or the dining room, it doesn't look out of place either, does it? That looks so cool, just having it in your under a table in your living room, ready to go, ready to get to sewing. I'll always remember rummaging through my mum's um, when I was a little child because she had so many buttons and all the different thimbles, the different needles. It was just so exciting rummaging through her box similar to this. 
$16.99. I say she does need a new one now, though. I might get her one of those. Okay. Just a quick recap, talking of storage. The early bird today is at a special price of $16.99 while stocks lost. And I must say, it is busy, 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 busy this morning. It's got a zip top, so it's going to keep it nice and uh, lint-free and dust-free if you're keeping any of your special fabrics or maybe you can have this as a knitting or a crochet bag. Zip it up and keep all your patterns in there. A project that you're on the move with. Maybe now we're allowed to, you know, go off onto uh, maybe or uh, when you're able to go to your caravan or you're going on a little um, holiday. Are you going on a holiday, Joe? You're going to the National Trust Park. Hanbury House, where's that? Hidroid Bridge? I've not heard of that one. But how pretty is this? And you have got the Velcro pocket at the front. They're just £16.99. Pence, do be aware the stocks are limited. Also, one last thing very, very quickly I haven't done is the point turner. Um, the point turner is ideal for bag makers, for dress makers even, for um, bag makers, have I said toy makers. When you're turning through little uh, loops or if you're really wanting to get that lovely crisp edge on your Peter Pan collar, this is going to help that without using your knitting needles and poking through. So it's your point turner, pointed end to turn through any collars from corners for that crisp point, gently pushing against the fabric from the inside. You've also got measurements on there. Now I need to almost flip it over because on the other side, you've also got imperial and metric measurements along the edge uh, to use to turn up any of your hem seam allowance or to mark your pleats. It's also got your button shank indents. So you use that when you're sewing on your buttons uh, to create your thread shank, basically. So that's just £9.99 for your point turner and button shank. Uh, so coming up in the next hour, we've got lovely Sarah who's sent in a video which we're going to be showing how to make these lovely jackets. And it looks completely different. That's more of like a, a cool shirt jacket, isn't it, actually? I'd wear that over a cami. That'd look really nice. And this, you might have seen our Hannah rocking it. It's from the uh, Sewing Basics for Every. Body, which we love already. I think we saw the jumpsuit in this and it was really popular. So we're going to be having a, a look with Sarah right after this. Hi, I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm here to give you my top tips on how I go about enjoying my sewing experience. My first top tip, as everybody knows, rotary cutter safety. If you're not using it and it's not on the mat, that blade must be locked. Please be safe. My second top tip is always buy more fabric than you need. If you don't have it, it's always going to sell out. You're going to struggle to find it. And when you do, it's going to cost you a lot more than when you were going to buy it originally. So buy it all. You always regret the bit you didn't buy. My next tip is positive or negative. Always listen to the advice and opinions of other people. Even if you ignore them, everybody has a different perspective. Everybody has a different take on things and it might help you along the way. The next top tip I have is always buy the most expensive and the most useful and the most practical for your brain product that works for you. Some people prefer different things, buy what works for you. And my last tip is, this is fun, this is enjoyable, and make sure you are enjoying it. Because there's nothing worse than carrying on with something and hating it and not enjoying it. You need to make sure that you're having fun. Those are my top tips and how it is that I enjoy my sewing experience. I hope they help you because they have helped me. For more handy tips and demonstrations, make sure you watch us on our Freeview channel 74, Sky channel of 670, otherwise follow us on YouTube on Sewing Street, where you can catch up on past demonstrations and shows. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion, and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon!
Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely morning. My name's Vicky, with you until, what time are we here till? 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock! Oh, I'm so excited. The, the plan was always when we started the show back in February on uh, Valentine's Day, we we want to stay with you as as long as we can. We want to do a show until one o'clock, ideally. So fingers crossed. Sooner or later, we'll be um, on air for five hours as well, which will be exciting. Um, but at the moment, four hours, an extra hour, which is really exciting. So this hour, uh, we're sticking with dressmaking. Now we've just got all of the tools. We've got our calico. We've got our books. We're all ready to go. This is a book which I cannot recommend enough. I think both of the books that we had in the first hour uh, virtually have sold out. So. What I love about this, not only is the very attractive model in here, but also um, the fact that, right, why do we all get into dressmaking or why do a lot of people get into dressmaking? I, I know a lot of people may uh, have been taught it from their parents or grandparents or uh, siblings or at school, whereas I know a lot of people who I speak to always struggle with finding clothes in certain stores that fit. And if I'm honest, I can be about three sizes different, depending on where I am. I can be one size in one shop and three size different in another. And it's really annoying. And actually, do you know what? I also find it with patterns. Sometimes patterns, I can be one size in one pattern and one size in another. So it's really good. Books like this, they'll talk to you about measuring yourself and making something that is going to flatter you, but also is contemporary. There's lots of old school patterns that, you know, aren't really necessarily up to the sort of trends of today. I love this book so much and it really is sewing basics for everybody, everybody and everybody. So it starts right from scratch. Let's have a look through because you get all of your patterns at the back. For £10.99, bearing in mind there's 10, um, there's, including for 10 full size, uh, it, sorry, there's patterns full size for 10 different sizes. From your waist size uh, inches from 26 inches to 43 and three quarters. So, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. Can you tell? I'm very excited about this. All your patterns, they're colour coordinated. I'm going to go back to the start and talk to you about the key at the back there, but I would just keep that and trace it off. Um, right, this is the, the lovely um, model that we like. I think that was on Hannah's already cut. I'm surprised that this page is still in here, by the way. I'm surprised there isn't just a cutout and she's just taken that page. Uh, the, the one that we're looking at today, by the way, I've just taken the post-it note out without showing you, but it is this one, which is your... Dylan project, your Dylan coat. Dylan coat, you can have it as a jacket, you can have it as a shirt. We're gonna sort of make this um, the jacket option, but there's lots of different variations. So it talks you through all the different techniques. It will talk to you about measuring. It will talk to you about pressing, different um, things that you're going to need, the essentials of what you're going to need for each of the projects. Marking, shrinkage, seams, understitching, hems, pleats, zippers. 
all sorts. And then you get into collars, you then get into your pa uh, your projects. So there's lovely sweatshirts, which you can then turn into zippers. You can turn into long dresses. You can turn into hoodies. I love jumpers like this and they're always going to be useful for... I like about this book is that it's unisex. It's something that's going to be great for any of the generations of your family, no matter what age you are, no matter what suits you, I think we're all going to be able to find something in here that suits us. So that's your hoodie. How great is that as a sports top or just as a, you know, an everyday casual hoodie? We all need hoodies, don't we? But I do like the idea of maybe you know somebody that's in a certain team, maybe a netball team or a football team, sports team or... Uh, or loves a certain film or, you know, you know what I'm trying to get at. I, I like the contrasting uh, sleeves and cuffs and yokes. Then we're going into your harem pants. So you can have it as quite a, a, a loose jogger. You can have it as a workwear pair of trousers. Have it as quite a smart pair of men's trousers. So you're going to learn how to do that and how to adjust it to fit you. We're also seeing how to make shirts. Different variations of shirts, long shirts, different collars. See, so it's a really very trendy book, I must say. Very contemporary indeed. You could do some very, well, really high fashion garments as well as your staple uh, workwear garments. And how to do these lovely professional finishes, even with very sort of, I don't want to use the word basic, but they do it this, They do it on the front of the book. It is sewing basics. They will talk you through very clearly how to do all of these very professional finishes. Look at that, the difference that that will make, just adding this, this onto a sleeve of how professional it looks. The most important bits to give you that lovely professional finish. I love those collars. The jumpsuit. Sorry, well... Um, Joe's getting jealous. Gosh. I'm married, Joe. <laughs> your jumpsuit. Your Dylan coat is the one that we're working with. You'll see our lovely Sarah, who's going to be uh, talking through that uh, and demoing it with us today. So, there's still loads of projects in there. Let's have a look at some of the fabrics. Heavyweight denim. Now, this is going to be enough to make your lovely jacket like this in any size. Uh, we've got enough fabric in there for you to be able to do the largest size. So, how much do you get, sorry? Two metres! Two metres for £19.49. Right, problem is, is eagle eyes have already been on the website. Majority of them have gone already in the first hour of the show. We've only got four of these bundles left. I'm just going to tell you now, it's already been pre-cut to two metres if you want it. This is your eight ounce medium weight denim. It's going to look amazing. This is the one that you saw our Hannah rock in on the fan page and I think that's why it's in high demand. She is a bit of a trendsetter, our Han, for £19.49. pence. I want to try it on as well. Um, it's got a lovely collar. It doesn't have any fastenings, but there are options in the book of how to sort of fasten it. It's got really nice... I like using the sort of frayed, uh, frayed sleeve. I think, by the way, our team have spotted how limited it is and have added more in, so we might be able to do more. We'll do our best, so it's definitely worth having a go. Um, there's only 12 bundles. It's gone up by a few, but you can, get, you can still get this. £19.49. Lovely, isn't it? So that is your denim. Thank you. We've then also got, gosh, that is a lot, isn't it? A lot of denim. All I would suggest is if that you are working with denim, make sure you get yourself on the website a denim needle. Get a denim needle as well, because you'll just need to, to, to change your machine needle to a denim one. We've also got the sailboat. So the option that you can see on my left is the sailboat option, which I've got a feeling this is going to be extremely popular. It's £19.49. It looks ever so designer. Nice. Less than £20 for two metres, already pre-cut, of your lovely sailboat fabric. It works, again, really nicely. See, I would wear that differently. It's lighter weight, obviously. It looks like a denim and it's not. It's... Um, yeah, absolutely. I think this would look really nice with... Um, this is the one I believe that Sarah's made, by the way. She's Is this one that she's working with? 
Sorry, it is a bit big for me, but this is the great thing, isn't it, about making it for you. You've got plenty of fabric. If you're, if I'm just wearing like a cami top or a t-shirt underneath, that'd look really nice as well, wouldn't it? Sarah makes the denim one, so she'll talk to you about working with the denim, but I really like that. And it feels, again, beautifully soft, really beautifully soft, completely different to the denim. Okay. So that's the sailboat option. We've also got two alternative options. These are both cotton canvas. So the navy cotton canvas, which again will work very, very well for this. Just a different look. It's £15, 49 pence. You're going to get two metres of your navy blue cotton canvas. I tell you what, even if you're a bag maker, this is a really great bundle to just make the most of whilst we cut it ready to two metres. Go for it, £15.49. I do like the cotton canvas because it's, you know, slightly heavier weight. Now, please don't get me wrong, if you're purchasing cotton canvas for the first time and, you know, you haven't got, if it's not working, your green button where you can, you know, reach in and touch it, if that isn't working, it isn't stiff. Whenever I think of canvas, I think of, you know, it, it being a lot stiffer, whereas actually it's still beautifully soft, so ideal for dressmaking, but also it does have some structure to it, so it'd be nice for, for, um, for bag making as well. £15.49, pence, and that's two metres. Then your charcoal is this one. Let's see, that'd look cool as well. It worked really, really well, I think, with this design because it's got that structure. Uh, maybe add some interfacing with it. I think uh, Sarah will talk about that. £15, 49 pence. Uh, two metres of your charcoal cotton canvas. So £15 and 49 pence. Right, remember, for your pattern, you will need the book. Check out on your fabrics, check out on your books. Have a watch of Sarah and I'll see you right after this. Hello, it's lovely to be here again. Now today we're going to be doing some dressmaking. Uh, we're going to be using this book, it's the Sewing Basics for Everybody by Wendy Ward. And you may remember um, Alison Marion made a shirt for John, I think a couple of months ago. So we're slowly working our way through the book. But today we're going to be making the Dylan jacket, which is over here. Now I'd say this is probably a sort of confident beginner project. But don't worry, the instructions are really well documented and it's a lovely book to go through. So fingers crossed that the sewing gods are on our side today. We'll uh, get cracking. So I'm just going to talk you through the process about how I worked with the book. Now, like most dressmaking patterns, forget high street sizes. You're going to need to measure yourself, but that's fine. They give you proper instructions in the book how to do that. And then there's a chart so that you can work out from there which one of the pattern lines you're going to be following. If you look down on the pattern here, you can see which one of the lines that you're going to be following for your particular size. The book also recommends at that stage using a highlighted marker to go around to make it a little bit easier when you come to trace out, which is a good idea. And then if you've got some tracing paper, you're going to put that over and trace out your pieces. Now, I recommend at this stage, just, you know, get yourself set up, um, maybe get a cup of tea and take your time whilst you're doing this because you want to make sure that you're following your exact lines. As you can see, it's quite busy, but it's all colour coded. So if you do it methodically, you'll be absolutely fine. And within the book, it will tell you which pieces you need to trace out. It even tells you which page of the, or which sheet rather, your piece is on, if that makes sense, because there's three sheets and they're both double sided. So you are guided through it, but just allow yourself plenty of time to trace it through, because accuracy is key. So once you've done that, what you also need to remember to do is to trace your notches, and we'll talk about those later on, um, but make sure that you've put those onto your pattern pieces. And then also there is a part missing um, for the Dylan jacket, but Sewing Street have copied the part and put it inside the book so you should get that in your copy that'll be fine if not the author has actually put a link on her blog so that you can go on and download for free the part as well so it's not a problem at all so once we've done that we're then going to be ready to start cutting so in the book I'll just show you there it is a very comprehensive cutting plan so you can follow it tells you exactly how to set your fabric out 
which um, side to have your fabric facing, which way your patterns are, so it's all documented there for you. Remember as well at that stage that you do need to transfer all your notches onto your pattern pieces. And I don't know if any of you were watching the sewing bee the other week, but there was, um, I can't remember who it was now who did it, but I think it was that jacket, you know, the 80s jacket that they made. And one of the contestants openly admitted that they hadn't bothered to transfer the notches. And I think at that stage, most sewers would have took a sharp intake of breath because really you do need the notches, certainly when you're a beginner, because that's going to tell you whether or not you're running on track in terms of your sizes and things. So uh, I can't recommend that enough that you do need to transfer your notches accurately and then you've got something to follow when you're sewing. Talking of that, actually, um, there are different methods for transferring your notches. Um, I've got some of them here today. Now, I particularly like using the friction pen, but you do have to remember that when we're dressmaking, we're going to be pressing things quite a lot. So you can often lose your lines. So just be careful of that. Um, Probably chalk, pen, or um, these liners, something like this is probably a good option. Because the other thing is, if you use the washable or the air erasable pens, remember if you're ironing onto them, they then become permanent, so that's not so good either if you're dressmaking. What I tend to do is just a mixture of, um, and you'll find what's, what's comfortable for you. You can always go old school and do some tailor tacking um, as well, which is as good as any. So that's all your notches done. So the other thing I recommend is reading the instructions before you get started. Now, I know nobody ever does that, but really it is a good idea, sort of a case of do as I say, not as I do, I think. But with the book, because it's so detailed, it will be flicking you across pages a little bit as we go through the stages, which is great, but you may lose track of where you are. So what I did was I went, through, I read through the instructions and I made a note, so I was like starting on page 138, then it may be taking me back to page 30 and so on, so that I could instantly look where I was, even if I'd flicked back a few pages to, to do a stage, I knew where I was in the total process. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, before we get sewing, I'm just gonna talk through some of the fabrics that we're using today. Um, I have a little bit of a confession to make. When I chose uh, one of the fabrics, I was looking on the web and I seen the word denim and thought, yeah, that'll be great. Um, and in fact, it's this uh, printed uh, little sailboat fabric here. I hadn't realised is that the denim referred to the colour of the fabric and it's actually um, a cotton, it's a lovely dressmaking cotton. But I think it still works, um, although it's very lightweight, it drapes lovely and it actually probably makes a really nice summer jacket. So I think that's turned out okay. What we're going to do today though is we're going to be working with this 8 ounce denim that you can see here. Um, it's got a little bit more structure to it but it's still very soft and it's lovely for dressmaking. The other thing I want to point out is that they do some lovely cotton canvases on the web shop and we were going to be using those. Um, we just couldn't get the, um, the quantity that we wanted. But if you do want to use that, I think it works out really well because it, again, it's got a bit of structure, but it's really soft to work with as well. So you've definitely got options. And also, I'll just quickly show you, I made this version for my daughter in a sort of a more structured canvas. So can you see, it gives the coat like a, a different look. So it's a very versatile pattern. You could make it with some of your, your cottons if you want for a lightweight version. Maybe use some of your Lewis and Irene or your Rose and Hubble, something like that. Or you can go with a, for a more structured look, go with some denim or the canvas. So I think now then it's time for us to get sewing. So the first stage is to pin the shoulders in place. Now what I've done for ease is I've sort of constructed half of the jacket, as you can see already. So we're going to be working through that side. So you wouldn't normally do it in that way, but just to explain, it'll just make it all come together easier at the end. So we need to have right sides together. So if I just put that down on the table and flip that around. You're probably not going to be able to see this with it being so dark, but I'm actually looking for my notches. And there's a little one there, and there's a more prominent one there. So we're lining up the notches as best we can. And what it suggests doing is because one of the, the front is a little bit shorter than the back, you need to do a bit of easing. So you then are going to pin your edges like so. And then you're going to sort of use your finger to press push up and, and ease out. It's only a very gentle easing. I mean, once we get onto the sleeves, you'll see you need to ease a lot more than that. 
but it's just very gentle it's just so that you've got a little bit of give in the jacket when you're wearing it and that's pinned ready to take to the machine but before we do that we may as well pin move that to one side we'll pin the sleeve as well and then we can sew them both at the same time so again on here you're looking to match up your notches as best you can and this piece actually runs quite nicely it looks a bit odd on know initially but it runs quite nicely up here so we'll pin that up to the top there and as you can also see I have overlocked all the way around the edges on mine now we'll talk about how we finish seams later but sometimes I just prefer to do that because it's just as I find it easier it depends on the pattern the fabric but sometimes at this stage while it's all flat it's nice just to overlock and get that edge, that edge done but there's quite a few different options on how you finish your scenes within the book and um, some new techniques. So I have actually done some bias binding finishing, which hopefully we'll get time to show later as well. So that worked out quite well. So that's all pinned. We'll now take that to the machine. So we're at the machine now. We'll just position the press the foot down. We're working to a one centimetre seam allowance throughout this pattern, so I've made sure that I've got the needle in the centre position and we'll get started. I'll just take a little back stitch to secure and away we go. It's quite unusual for me because normally I'm used to working with my extension table, but sometimes when I'm dressmaking, I think it helps just to be able to have that space to the side for your fabric to hang down on. Then we go down to the bottom and again we'll just take a little back step to secure like so. And we'll just rub down the other side. So it comes together quite quickly I think these sleeves do. And the other thing that I didn't mention as well is it's quite a generous pattern from a sizing point of view. I have been known to, when I've measured myself, look at the sizing and then go up a size. Only because it's easier to um, take something in than it is to make it bigger. And as John would say, that's me how I know. So that's just a little bit of a top tip. Having said that, this is a very generous pattern anyway. So I think you'll be absolutely fine sticking to your true size. And there we are at the end. We'll just do a little reverse stitch. Okay. So here we are. Um, the seams are sewn. I'm just going to take them to the ironing board and give them a press and I'll be using the sleeve seam presser or pressing ham which works really nicely because you can just insert that into the sleeve and then it helps make sure that you get a really nice finish with your, with your seams when you're doing curves and things like that. So that's one of the arms and then also I've done the shoulder which I can find under here. So you can see there again that just needs a press as well but I'll do that in a moment. So let's look at the collar next. Um, you can see here that one of the pieces has had the interfacing ironed onto it. And there's two pieces. We've sandwiched them together, right sides together. And it tells you then to baste all the way around. You can see in the yellow, do some basting stitches around there. I do recommend doing that because the first time I did it, I thought, hmm, I don't need to do that. I can just pin, you know, it's fairly straight. But it did slip a little bit under the machine so I think it is worth doing that. I think one of the reasons is that one of the collar um, pieces is a little bit smaller than the other so you need to ease it in so anyway if it says based basically based. So I've done that and then also just to make it a little bit easier for myself I've penned on with my friction pen my sewing line again keeping that one centimetre seam allowance. At the corner here I've just made a, a little line across because what it tells you to do is when you get to the um, point here rather than stopping and pivoting do one stitch to the side and then come along because apparently that helps you get a, a better finish with your collar 
So we'll take that to the machine and we'll do that next. So the collar is in position on the machine. I'm just gonna follow my stitch line now. So off we go, or back stitch again. And we'll take it nice and steady as we approach there. And then I'm just gonna take, that's it, one little stitch to the side and then back down to follow my stitch line. But having said that, I have gone off it a little bit, but it's fine. It's quite useful having the interfacing on top to sew. Sort of keeps all the layers together. And there we are, coming down to harder to follow sewing lines when you're being filmed than it is otherwise but I think that'll be fine. Next then we're going to take our scissors and just clip into the corners so we'll just clip off the excess fabric and also we're going to go along and just make some snips into where the curved part of the collar is just to help when we come to press so that it all sits quite nice. As I went offline a little bit, I think I'll also cut some of the um, seam allowance off on here as well, so it'll reduce the bulk. But I'll do all that, get that pressed out, and then I'll come back to you. So as you can see, we've finished off the collar there, um, pressed it out, and top stitched around the edges. And if you've got something like um, this tool, this is really useful for helping you get into your corners when you're pressing out. So next we're going to make a sandwich, funnily enough. Um, there's lots of sandwiches in the sewing world, isn't there? So what we need to do is we need to get our interface side of our collar stand and that is going to go next to the interface side of our collar. So like so. Right sides together. And we need to check that we have not lost our little notches. I can just about see them. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But we're, what we're going to do is match up, you can see there I've got a centre line and there I've got a centre line. So I'll just pop a clip in there. And then I'll get a pin through my little dot, fading dot there, and that's gonna go through this little dot up here. Make sure I've got all the layers. Like so, and you can just sort of manipulate it. So it needs to turn, I don't know if that picking up on the camera, but ever so slightly so that that edge is meeting up there. So maybe even put a clip in there. So we've got easing again. There's lots of easing going on to sort of get you started on there. And then what I'll probably do now is nip over to the other side. Similar thing. Find my dot, and match it up there, go through all the, the layers again. And again, it just needs a little bit of a turn to make sure that you've it into that corner, something like that, and just at this point, it's probably best to pick it up and let's start from this end and just sort of keep it. Got some notches to match up in there as well. Just pick it up and manipulate it all in. Oops, like so. So it's probably quite a, a time consuming process, but hopefully you get the gist. I'm not going to do it all on camera because I could be here for quite a while and I want to make sure that I do get that nice and, and neat. But you get the idea. Once you've done that, you flip it over and then we're going to sandwich it with the other side. So it's right sides together and We'll pop that over there and then you take your pin out from the underside and repin it from that side so you are making literally a big sandwich but you just need to make sure that you've got all your layers so some of them maybe 
have gone a little bit off skew but so long as they've all been caught that's fine and again you're going all the way along to this end let's take this pin out pop that on top making sure we hit the notch there and so on so we'll go all the right I'll go all the way around that get it nice and eased in and then I'm going to do a big tacking stitch all the way around here just to make sure that it's nice and secure and then I'll come back to you okay so I've basted the collar stand to the collar as you can see there um, and now what we're going to do is sew this to the collar and secure it all in place. So we'll go nice and steady, pull back the stitch, because we've got quite a lot of layers in here. We've got four layers of fabric, two of which are interfaced, so there's quite a bit of bulk going on. And you really need to use your fingers as you, as you sew, just to make sure that you're not getting any puckers. So there is a bit of ease going on, but try and push it so that the ease is sort of falling that side of your sewing and the sort of the more you press down, even may need to lift your foot up now and again just to make sure even the layers of bunching going on. But don't worry if you do, we can fix that later. You can just go in with a quick unpick if there's any little pucker bits. I don't think I can see one there that probably formed but that's fine keep going and so we'll sort that later important thing is to make sure you're catching all your layers because you don't want to miss any but take it steady it's worth because this is the part that you really do want to make sure it looks as professional as you can but remember my other little saying that not perfect is better than not at all so don't beat yourself up if there are any wobbly bits the fact that you're doing this and making your own clothes i think is pretty special in itself and there we go so i'm just going to take this off now give it a good press clip around the edges and i'll show you how we attach it to the coat so I've pressed the collar stand now and it's sitting quite nicely, taken out most of my basting stitches because there's always those ones that you run over that are really hard to get out, aren't they? Um, but now what we need to do is we're attaching it to the back of the coat. So it's right sides together, so lay your coat down flat and then literally you're just clipping, um, matching up with your notches on the, on the side shoulder seams here, you're matching your centre notch and also at the edges as well make sure that you've got even spacing either side of your collar and there's notches either side to match up as well but it should be a little bit easier to sort of ease all that in now because most of your bulk is sitting in this part there and we're just attaching that bit there so what it then says is to hand baste, and again, I would hand baste, so, um, or machine baste it, which I think is what I'm going to do, the speed, and then we are ready to attach the facing. But before we do that, I'm going to push that to one side, and as we are pinning, let's pin this sleeve into the coat. So for that, what we need to do is have the coat wrong side out, so I'll just turn that like that and then you have the sleeve the right way so put the sleeve inside the coat like so so basically you've got your right sides will be touching when you come to pin now there's lots of notches that we need to hit on here so let's take a deep breath and fingers crossed that we hit them so i always think when you match up your notches it's always a bit of a, a high five moment and um, it's probably the equivalent of when you're um patchworking and you hit your points you always feel like yes I've done it so the first one to match up is the side seam at the bottom and we're going to match that up with this one here this notch here so let's put that in place I think once you've got your first one in that helps the rest if all has gone to plan should match up quite easily so then you're looking for your single notch on your front and that is and that is 
marking, matching up, sorry, with that notch there. So that does, I need to pin that in. Apologies, because you probably can't see this very well. And then on the back, you'll see we've got a double notch there. That is going to match up, hopefully, yeah, with that side seam on the sleeve. So we'll pin that into place. It's all written down in the book, so don't worry. I say it's just key to get the first notch in right, and then really the rest should fall into place. So we've just got one more notch left up there, and that is going to match up with our shoulder seam at the top. Now, this is a bit of a fun part, because the nature of sleeves, you need a bit of ease in them. So what they say is that these, this is all catching okay on camera hopefully, these three here should fit in fairly easily, so that they do in fact you can see, so I'm just going to pop a few clips in. So those are your easiest ones to do. So we'll just make sure, and we're going to base all this again before we take it to the sewing machine definitely. So those in so those are done hopefully so now you can see up here we've got quite a bit of bagging or ease to, to work out there it's not so bad on that bit there so we'll pop a clip in there that's okay but here you can see we've got some excess so what you do is work out the halfway point between these two which is excuse me pen to mark it and then your halfway point on your sleeve is there. Okay, and then we're going to match those up. So at least now we know that our E's should be equal between the two points. And then it's just a case of what they recommend doing. It's, it's getting probably pins for this rather than clips. And just sort of working your finger between the fabric, pushing it up so that you can absorb all that excess fabric and smooth it out best you can in between your pins, like so. Again, just take your time. I think the sleeve like this, it's one of those key parts as well that you don't want puckering and things, so it really is worth um, taking some time to make sure you've, you've done it as nicely as you can. So what we're then going to do is base all the way around here and then I'll do that off screen and I'll take it to the machine, sew it up and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so we're now going to sew the sleeve in. As you can see, I've based it all the way around the edge of it. So it's on the machine. The sleeve part of the um, what we're sewing is on the uppermost part, if that makes sense. So the, the coat is underneath. And we'll take it nice and steady, keep within our seam allowance. So the back secure there. And I've actually taken my free got my free arm on now, I've taken that off so that I've got a lot more manipulation space. And as I'm going round, I'm just feeling again, because there will be some excess, but I'm trying to make sure that I push it away from the sewing, where I'm sewing, so that it doesn't catch and cause that puckering, which we don't want. There we go. I'll just keep stopping, readjusting. Don't be afraid to lift up your presser foot as well if you feel you've got some bunching going on. And just keep moving round. as well actually just for extra security which I probably didn't need to do but and when you're basting it tells you to baste on your seam line as well so it gives you an extra little marker to sort of follow. Keep going. Also I didn't mention when you start and this is a top tip anyway for, for always, is always start somewhere that isn't as obvious, um, a bit hidden, so in this case it was the back um, near the side seam. 
because that's if you're going to have any wobbles it's probably going to be when you start and when you finish the seam so if you can hide that the better and we're nearly proper twisted now so that's just readjust that keep going all the way around And then it's at this point that you ever wonder how people on the sewing bee get anything finished. The best speed sewing, isn't it? There we are. So I'm nearly at the end now, so I just want to make sure that as I come back up to where I started, I just want to make sure I've got now I can feel a bit of a bump underneath, so I've got rid of that. And start to that little back tack again okay so I'll take that off the machine get rid of all my basting give it a good press and the next stage then is to look at putting the facing on the coat okay so we're going to attach now the back neck facing to the front facing so we really are on the homeward stretch now you'll be pleased to know so we're matching notches either side well, in the centre there I've marked them actually. I'll put a clip on there. So I'm, I'm going to take this to the overlocker to do. So I'm definitely using clips rather than pins. So we attach them there right sides together like so. And we'll go over to the overlocker. So the overlocker's all set up. I'm just going to um, go across the top shoulder seams first. I if I use the right pedal. There we go. here and the reason I've got the overlocker out is just because I want to um, neaten up the outside <laughs> I shall show you so we'll go all the way around the facing now it's all joined so we'll start at the bottom and let's make sure the facing's coming away so the key with the overlocker is, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, I'll just point, is just keep your eye on the, on the blade, I find. Forget the needles, um, they'll just do their thing. But if you just keep your eye on that blade and you're aiming to get then a consistent sort of strip of fabric that trims off, so you don't want to sort of, then you'll know if, if you suddenly see that strip coming off is a bit, a bit wider, you'll know you've gone off. And again, when we get to corners as well, it's just take your time. Try and be consistent. So here we go. So I'm happy, happy with that little thread. I can show you. That's coming off, that's okay. So just keep going. I'm not looking at the needles. In fact, I'm just going to check. The stitching's okay. It's really useful to have your overlocker going around a corner now so I'm, as I go I'm, I'm turning the fabric I may if the corner's really sharp actually lift the foot up and reposition a bit so for now I'm just going to go down the curve and then come back again right so here I think I am going to just lift it up turn it slightly Chain it 
off. And that has given us a nice, neat edge for our facing. So the facing is all attached now, and we've obviously neatened off the edges with the overlocker. So turn it so that it's right sides to right side. I've got the jacket lying down in front of me, right side up, and we're going to pin the facing in place. So anchor points that we're looking for is the shoulder seam on the coat should match with your shoulder or with this seam here. So let's get those in place first of all, like so. And then what we'll do is ease the rest of the fabric in and yeah, there's quite a few layers so make sure that you've got everything attached. We are going to baste this of course because that is the way to go and you'll find at the edges you're a little, it looks like you're probably a little bit short that's absolutely fine because we're going to turn those in anyway when we neaten off the side parts. So we'll go all the way along here all the way and then what I'll do is I'll baste and I'll take it to the machine and I'll just sew all the way along that point there and then I'll come back to you. Now that we've got the facing sewn to the top part of the coat, what we need to do now is to secure it to the front um, down each side. So what we're going to do is, is make sure that we're always working right sides together, so have it lying on top with your facing that way and we're just going to sew a one centimeter seam all the way down there so it's okay that it's short at the bottom because that's the edge that we're going to use when we are hemming the coat so just pin this all the way down and then what i've actually done on this one already is sewn it and then pulled it through so you can see that's the, the, where i've sewn and then I've turned it through and using my pokey tool, I've poked out corners at both of the bottoms as well, um, as best you can, because obviously there's a, a little bit of bulk in there, but it lies reasonably flat. So now we are nearly there. We're going to do a bit of top stitching. So before I take it to the machine, I just want to tell you a little tip of how I help myself keep my lines straight when I'm top stitching. So I'll use something like the quilter's tape which I couldn't actually find this morning, so I've improvised and I'm using washi tape. Um, so I will line it up where I want to be. Now I know from the pattern that your top stitching is just short of one and a half inches from the edge. So you would check that up and that actually lines up, if you can see, but just from the edge of your, where your collar starts there as well. So I'm going to get that as close there as I can. And then all I would do is go down and then just keep moving your measure along so that you can check your distance all the way down so that you know you're accurate. And then when we've done that, we'll take it to the machine and I can use that as my sewing line and it really does help make a difference. So I've already just top stitched the fine edge um, of the coat and also it's a good point to remember that if you're not that confident with your top stitching, even if you're going to use tape like me, a good tip is to just make sure that you're using your thread that really matches in well and you can barely see it. Obviously if you're feeling a bit ambitious and confident you could use a nice contrasting thread and then you'll really make your top stitching pop. Also remember to lengthen your stitch, I'll just do that quite a few layers still in here to go through and you can see I've moved on to my zipper foot I like to use a zipper foot because I can really line that up then against the edge of my tape so ready to go and obviously it needs a bit of encouragement to start off with because you've got all those folds down there but once you get going obviously because I'm at a funny angle I've got the weight of the coat pulling me up a little bit and I'll try and you see what I mean about this tape it's a really good little cheat and if you can see I you probably can't on the, on the camera that it's actually a little hint as to what my next project is going to be so we'll just run all the way along to the end I'm struggling because the coat keeps falling off. In fact, it has completely fell off now. But there we go. Nearly there. Make sure as we're coming up to the top. 
off. The tape's totally come off now, but that's it. Anyway. Okay, so I'm now going to finish up the other side and then I'll come back to you and show you how we put the pockets on. We're going to attach the pockets next and we've gone a little bit off plan on this because I quite like the look of the salvage edge on denim. I think it gives a really nice frayed edge contrast. I've decided to use that as the top rather than fold it over, stitch along and then you'd have like a different neater finish to your pocket. But I thought that would look quite cute. So that's the top of my pocket. You make yourself a nice template that's um, an in, uh, sorry, a centimetre shorter than the original pattern so that when you put it on you can fold in and press around there like I've done there and it really does help so a little top tip to make sure that you get a nice neat finish to your pocket. So then what I also do is get some washi tape and just to help make sure that when you come to sew you don't want any of these seams to jump up or bunch up or anything like that is I'll put some tape down I can get it off and then stick that down like that and I'll go all the way around and do that and then you just know you're going to get a nice neat finish so you need to make sure in your pockets that you have the little corner bit facing in so that one's going to go that way if you like and decide where you want to put them um, they usually sort of go along this line here but you can have them as high or low as you want so at this point it's probably a good idea to pop your jacket on pop your hands in and just see um, how you want them to be fixed but we'll go with that for now and then you'll just pin them into place when you're happy and then you'll just sew all the way around these edges here and that's your pockets in place and here we are with the finished jacket as you can see i've attached the pockets um i've gone round with some bias binding to finish off the hem which actually I'll just take the coat off the marking to show you. So although because we had overlocked all the edges they do look quite smart I just thought given the style of coat it would look extra nice with some bias binding edging round. So I'll just show you, I've left a little bit undone so you can see how I did that. So basically it's your, your tape and I've just sandwiched it between my edges there and then sewed along there. And when I've come to do these seams, a little bit more time consuming but I think definitely worth the effort, individually sewing them to each side of the seam allowances. So that's the worker jacket complete. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon, hopefully in the studio. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Sarah. I can't wait to meet you. I'm really excited to have guest designers in the studio very, very soon. It'll be really, really lovely. And Nigel as well, a lovely husband. Thank you very much for filming. Thank you for uh, for sending that in. It's brilliant, isn't it? I love, love, love the book. It, it's, it is very, very sort of simple. It breaks it down, but also then gives you so many hacks, which we love. Different ways of changing patterns to be able to create gorgeous, gorgeous um, attires for your wardrobe. So we were looking at the Dylan coat. Let me move my um, post-it note out of the way. And, and then let's have a look at the options, the variations of this. So obviously, you can do one with buttons, you can do one with um, well, a different lengths, you can do ones with different funky linings, different fabrics are going to change the look completely, different ways you do the pockets, whether they're patch pockets or whether they're inseam pockets. There's so many different ways of changing it uh, and all of your instructions are there as well. It tells you how to adjust your patterns and fabric requirements and which cutting to follow. So. This is just £10.99. All of your instructions, remember, are in here. And, um, oh, isn't, isn't the, um, the lovely man lovely? <laughs> so, throughout you get lots of patterns for great wardrobe builders. It's already very, very popular. Now is the time to get checking out on the book. All of your patterns are at the back of the book as well. So keep hold of those. I'll just trace them out because there's lots of different great sizes in there. Right, the denim is in the lead. 
very, very popular. This was the one that Sarah was working with. Um, and she was talking about how to, to work with denim. Obviously, you need your denim needle. Go onto the website and have a look. This is £19.49. It's two metres already pre-cut, your heavy, medium weight washed denim. Eight ounce, and it would be ideal for the Dylan coat. So that is gorgeous. And that's two metres already cut. If you are multi-buying, remember, it will come already pre-cut into those two meters. But it is a lot of fabric. I'm not gonna open it all out, but I mean, that is plenty of denim. If you're making a smaller size, uh, then of course, remember, you'll have loads left over. You'll have some left over to have a bit of a play with. Good chance to have a, have a go at denim. There's not too many, you know, darts and fitting with it. It's quite a loose fit jacket. So I'll let Joe for that. <gasps> Sailboats? No, I'm only joking. Joe, I'm joking, I'm joking. He's not in the mood for jokes today. Gosh, he's ever so, he's, he's sassy today. Am I with you all week, Joe? Oh, good. We catch my eye. Just 19 pounds at 49 pence. I'm only joking. I will miss you this week. Oh, lovely cats here, though. Um, this would be nice as well. You know the little girls... Um, Pinafore that we were looking at earlier on, the dungaree skirt, the dunga skirt, I think Hannah was calling it. It would look nice with this, wouldn't it? 1949, it's two metres, you'd have plenty there. Two metres for the Dylan coat, it's absolutely ideal. Reminds me of my applique. Um, I did an applique sailboat, which I still get ridiculed for here. <laughs> Wasn't very good. It reminds me of it. I think it looks like it. Right, we've also got two other options. Now, these are cotton canvases. Uh, the navy blue cotton canvas would be first. Ideal as well for bag makers. I just think now is the time, whilst we're um, offering such a great price for two metres, stock up your stash whilst you can. On air today at £15.49 pence with one poster and packaging all day long. No matter how much you buy, remember, it's only one PMP all day long. So whether it be in the live show until 12, yes. We're on till 12 now. So every day we're broadcasting for live hours. One repeat hour before we pass over to our jewellery maker sister channel. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting, isn't it? Really exciting. Charcoal. Obviously, you see us every day here in the, uh, on the morning, but there's so much going on behind the scenes to make sure that you know, the, the show's growing and growing and growing. It's very exciting what we've got planned over the next coming months. Two metres of your charcoal cotton canvas. So it's slightly heavier weight than your cotton canvas. So it'll give it lovely structure. If you are wanting to do more of a jacket style, um, like the denim, then this one is going to be ideal. If you have got some interfacing at home, then I know that Sarah used some interfacing. I think at the moment we're out of stock on the website, but keep your eyes peeled for that in the next few days. It should be back in stock soon. £15, 49 pence for your charcoal. Now, a few other bits and bobs that um, we think are very, very useful for dressmakers. Uh, rose gold scissors, I love this pack. This is such a great pack to have as a gift as well. So, I mean, I did get the... The nice new tidy one out because we've yeah we've well and truly opened <laughs> we've well and truly opened it. Nineteen pounds ninety nine pence. So uh, you've got your thimble, you've got your scissors, you've got your pins, and you've got your little schnips as well. It comes like this. So I mean that is a lovely gift for somebody. And I must say, normally when you're looking at multi pack like this, I don't know about you, but they're a bit of my sort of pet hate that you get. Something you like, and then all bits and bobs that you might not use. Whereas actually, with this multi pack, everything is extremely useful. So you get your beautiful rose gold coloured Millwood scissors, absolutely gorgeous quality, and they really are lovely and weighty for your for all of your finest fabrics. So they're your rose gold coloured scissors. You've then also got really beautiful quality rose gold colour snips. So those of you that do any hand sewing, any cross stitch, any sash go, any EPP, or even just uh, any of your sewing next to your sewing machine, it's always handy to have a nice little pair of scissors and they're ever so sharp right to the point. You also have your thimble. Um, I know that Kat said if you're doing EPP she definitely recommends using a thimble. And you also get some nice little rose gold head pins. 
£19.99, you can pay that just for your dress making shears and these are all nice useful gifts and, uh, and bits and bobs to go with. So, add that to your order, only one p and p £19.99. We've also got our Wonder Clips. We've got our sewing knit gauge, we've got our quilter's tape, point turner. Wonder Clips. 50 of your multicolour Wonder Clips for £28.99. Uh, now let me just show you, I think I've got some that are open under here. Oh no, they've all been on walkies. Basically, the great thing about these, what I wanted to show you, hang on, they must be here. No, they have got walkies. So, what I wanted to show you is that these are the official Clover Wonder Clips. So you can get ones that are, I'm going to be really honest with you, they are some that are cheaper, but they are lesser quality. Um, uh, from my experience, I've done it. I've bought ones that are cheap and they're really flimsy and break. Whereas you know that if we're going to bring something on um, and we are looking at more of an expensive brand, it's for a reason. I know that John Con Morgan uses this all the time for his binding. I've seen lots of bag makers use them if you don't want to pin into uh, PU leather or if you're working with bulkier sort of seams, then this is fantastic because it's quicker than pins. You're not going to be leaving pins in your garments by accident. You can see them very, very clearly and they sit nice and flat as well as the one side of them flat. Uh, so just £28.99 and they will last. They really will last the test of time. You've got 50 in the pack, so plenty. Uh, to be even binding with these, open clips wide to, to hold layers of fabric together. Okay. So we've got the bamboo pointer and creaser. Is this Hayley Bryant? Hayley Marshall, say, who's our head of TV, she has sent through to Laura so many facts about this bamboo pointer. She's very, very excited about it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's £1.69. Surely we shouldn't really be talking about this for too long. It's one sixty nine. Oh, did you know the bamboo plant was the fastest growing plant in the world? <laughs> Hayley, oh my word, go on. It also, what? Releases 35% more oxygen than ordinary trees. Absorbs five, five more times CO2 than other trees and plants. They're eco-friendly then, aren't they? Does not require pesticides to grow or fertiliser and actually requires very little water. Gosh, doesn't die when it's cut down. Oh, there's more, there's more. It just starts growing again. Oh my word, she's gotten very into her bamboo facts. It, right, so can I just tell you, yes, it is a, a tree, it's eco-friendly, but it's also a really useful tool for dressmakers and bag makers. Also really useful for um, toy makers. If you want to get those lovely crisp seams, then it is a pointer and creasing tool. It's 169. I can't even talk about it on air for that long because it costs us more every minute on air time. Um, should we do the wash away quilters tape or the seam gauge? Sleeve roll. Gosh, she's ever so boxy today. <laughs> what did you just say? Eight pounds ninety nine for your uh, sleeve roll. Uh, it is pre. Uh, what's the word? Colour fast is the word I'm looking for. So even though you've got this lovely sort of check print on it, it's not going to transfer onto any of your fabrics, even when you're using lots of steam. Ideal to get into all of the nooks and crannies, bag makers, dress makers, toy makers as well. Always very handy to have on board at £8.99. Um, just for £8.99 pence for your so easy sleeve roll. Okay, we've also got quilters tape. I see, I've seen bag makers using this to insert, put zips in. £6.99, dressmakers, quilters and bag makers. It's basically a double-sided sticky tape which will disappear once, you're, once you've washed it. So if you're using it maybe to put in a facing or your bias binding or anything like that, then this is probably going to be ideal for that. 
Perfect for quilting, hemming, binding, hold trims and applique in place. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. So instead of bond webbing, if you are only using something small, you could just stick it down, basically like a double-sided sticky tape, stitch round it, wash it away, and it'll be fine. Or if you were to put in your um, binding, ideal for that. Okay, your sew and knit gauge is this one. Just ideal for marking your hands and your seams. £2.99 extremely low in price so it's just one of these items a, a reminder that if you have a look on our web, web shop if you go into the haberdashery section you'll be able to find lots of bits and pieces that are actually lower in price than the pmp less than four pounds so if you've bought the something already and you've paid your pmp you may as well stock up whilst you can maybe you got even half a meter of the calico earlier on then you may as well stock up as you've already paid your PMP. Right, coming back, we've got Moda fabric bundles, fabrics by the half meters. We're going to get your fabric stashes sorted out. Do not go anywhere. We're back in just a few minutes. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Welcome back to Sewing Street. My name's Vicky. If we haven't met before, how are you? I uh, hope you're having a lovely morning so far. We've got another couple of hours still with you. We're here till 12 o'clock now. So um, if you are new to us, Thank you for joining us. Stay with us. Have a look on the web shop. Check out our YouTube channel. Join us on Facebook. Join our community because there's so much going on every single day. We broadcast live every day from 8 a.m. to 12 o'clock. So come and join us. Um, this hour is all about getting your fabric stash kitted out with not just any fabric, but some of the most beautiful Moda fabric. When it comes to talking about some of the biggest designers in the world of quilting fabrics, 
people talk about Moda all the time. I mean, um, I know John Cole Morgan, who is a seasoned pro when it comes to quilting, he'll always say, oh, Moda put sort of pre-cuts on the map. They are an amazing quality company when it comes to beautiful quality fabrics. Um, we've got four amazing different bundles for you. We've got some by the half metre, some that are out of stock, so you're going to have to sort of bear with me as we go through. The boutiques, the Canning Days, the Three Sisters, so something for everybody. Some more traditional, some really cool contemporary fabrics as well. Should we start with the boutiques? Because I absolutely love these. I keep seeing all over the weekend, it was supposed to be Glastonbury, wasn't it, this weekend? So on, um, on the telly, I keep seeing repeats of things and I see a lot of people in their gardens doing lots of festival sort of theme things. And straight away, as soon as I saw these, I thought of festival flags. I absolutely love this boutique fabric. Um, now more than ever, I've said this for years, that I want to go to Bali and see how they traditionally dye boutique fabrics. It's traditionally sort of done in barley, um, but all over the world now, this is um, a very traditional hand dyeing technique. So it's not printed. It will mean that both front and reverse of your fabric will have this absolutely amazing, but very, very unique fabric color and, um, and pattern. So every single one of them will be different, but all are, are with these same sort of colors and patterns, they're beautiful. So your mega bundle, don't get me wrong, is, is an investment, but what an amazing bundle to have. So it is slightly lighter weight, but you can still absolutely use it for quilting. I think John Cole Morgan's actually done a quilt with this. It's stunning quality, it is hand dyed, Oh my word, I love it. So, you're getting 12 half meters. And look at your colors. Do you mind if I start like opening these out and putting them all onto the desk? Because I want you to experience all these colors. Now, I believe some of these are, are available by the half meter and some of them aren't. So, if you do want the whole range, now is the time to be able to get the Mega Bundle. I love that one, look at that. See, that's like a work of art, isn't it? That's what I love about all of these. They are so artistic. They would be amazing if you were to just take a, a, a small section of it in quilting, but how dramatic or beautiful would that look as a canvas on a frame, in a frame with embellishing on, some hand stitching, or to have it as a cushion, to have it as a bag, or, I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. They're all half meter pre-cuts, just so you're aware. This one, with the dark background, is quite sort of psychedelic actually they're all absolutely amazing what's that sorry and the navy blue with the purple it's got a bit of a if you love sort of tie-dye and different other traditional dyeing techniques that's really really beautiful but it's um these ones you can see they've used that sort of resisting technique so what they will do is they'll put some sort of wax in this pattern onto the fabric and then dye it and it will resist it the wax will sort of resist the dye and then they leave them out to the, in the sun and they leave them on the beach to dry quite often this is why i want to go to bali but you can see look the reverse as well there isn't really well there is actually technically there is a right side and a wrong side a lot of the time you can't really see it, which I love because it, it sometimes baffles me when it's right size together, wrong size together. You don't need to worry about that with boutiques. These are beautiful. If you go onto Pinterest or have a look online, then you'll often see actually um, some of the most incredible boutique fabrics with quilting as well. I've seen some amazing designs. £106.99. I'm not even sort of... I'm nowhere near into scratching the surface into this bundle yet even so you're getting lots and lots and lots of fabric for your money that one's beautiful I'm thinking like little wash bags and there's not all of these available by the half meter so if you do want all of them the best way of getting it is in the bundle uh the, it's a true fact isn't it uh, director joe that the camera compresses the color so if you love it on screen, if you think, my word, that looks bright on screen, wait till you see it in real life. It's absolutely tangerine orange. That is just gorgeous. And that's only half of it, remember? This one I think is my favorite. Laura's favorites was the um, this one. This one's my favorite. Oh, it reminds me of my little turtle friend, my tortoise friend. 
Look, yeah, it's just like, I can imagine that um, amazing graffiti work, like spray. It's gorgeous. My tortoise, these ones. It didn't look anything like this, but do you know what I mean? His name, his name was Terry. I only had a very, very short relationship with Terry, but um, <laughs> not your dad. <laughs> Just realised Joe's dad's called Terry. Um, we found his owner. We found his owner. Oh, so all of these fabrics, I mean, I've opened them all out now. We're going to have a lot of fun putting these all back together, aren't we? Um, but aren't they gorgeous? So, should we keep them like this and go backwards, in fact, actually? That's a good idea, so then I can put them where I order. £106.99. pence. So, as I say, they're not all available by the half metre, but a majority of them we can do, which opens up the possibilities uh, to so much more as well if you're buying by the half metre. I'm thinking dressmaking, absolutely. Bag making, these would be oh, incredible. Some really big panels on quilts would be so dramatic. Please have a look at uh, on uh, Pinterest and on Instagram. I know so many people that simply only use batik fabrics to quilt with. Now, it, the whole question to wash, not to wash, that is the question, isn't it? But um, uh, it, it, it is down to personal preference. Some people don't, some people do. Quilting weight fabrics, I know a lot of people sort of don't. Yeah, we're going to do this one first. Um, a lot of people sort of don't wash their quilting weights, but with batiks, they will rinse them through. It, it's personal preference. Do a little bit of research into it, but they are absolutely gorgeous quality. I mean, I'm not getting any of the, the dye on my hands. They are, um, the, the technique sort of adapted over the years, hasn't it? So they, they, they won't run as much as they would have done. But it's definitely worth probably rinsing them, I'd say. Right, the first one. I absolutely love these colours. You've got the beautiful purples. See, even if you were to buy a metre of this today, you can get one metre uh, for £18 and you can mix it in with maybe one of the greens or you could pick out some of the blues or the purples. There's some beautiful colours in there. £8.99. Now, you've noticed, by the way, if you did want all of the half metres, then, um, well, the only way of getting them in is in that whole mega bundle. Some of these aren't available by the half metre, but also you do actually get a saving getting the mega bundle. But if you did just want to have a go with batiks or if there's a certain print that really catches your eye, this is absolutely amazing, isn't it? What an amazing... Oh, it's almost, you know, some of the um, African wax prints. If you love working with, with them in, in dressmaking, they're really lovely. Okay. So, we're going to go through all of these, as many as we possibly can by the half metre. One second. Right, this next one is TEW171. And how beautiful is it? It looks uh, incredible, doesn't it? Can you see why I've got such a passion for petite fabrics? Hence, and the only reason that I want to go to Bali, not because it's, you know, one of the most exotic, beautiful sort of honeymoon destinations in the world, but, oh, I'd love to see this, this traditional dyeing technique. So you could really make that quite dramatic and quite bright with some of the pinks uh, and these colours, but also then I like that you've got almost the camouflaging shades of the greens and the yellows together. Beautiful. £8.99 half metre. It's ever so soft, it really is. It's beautiful quality, 100% um, cotton. It is slightly lighter weight than some of your other Moda traditional quilting weight cottons, but you will absolutely still be able to quilt with this. You will absolutely be able to quilt with it. If you're in bag making, maybe use some H640 or any other sort of interfacing that you want to use, maybe a foam if you want to give it a bit more structure. But even if you were to just try out half a metre, it's two fat quarters, remember, half a metre. So if you've got any of the Wendy Gardner books, you're going to make lots of beautiful little gifts or um, craft hobby things. Thinking like little scissor keepers or pin cushions. There's loads you can make with half a metre even. It will be cut off the bolt, especially for you, to whatever size you want. 
Yeah, it is. Right, so if you love this colorway, by the way, if you love this print, go for it because it's not available in the other pink colorway. I am going to make sure that it... Remember, so if you did love that one, the only way of getting it is in the Mega Bundle, which is £106.99. pence. Sorry, I'm just taking an extra second or two to make sure that these are all ready as we've got to put them all away. So, don't want to get myself in a mess. Um, so this one isn't available. This one, the only way, the only way of getting it is now available in the Mega Bundle and it's gorgeous. Okay. Then we've got the lovely orange. Oh, wow. So this is QHW179. We've got this one by the half meter, amazing. Imagine this as flags. Do you know what I mean? Or a big beach bag. It almost looks like if you were to do a microscopic um, image of an orange, you've got all of those sort of juicy bits, haven't you? Oh, I love it. Just seven pounds, 49 pence. How is that lower? When they ain't 99 and a half meter. 7.49, make the most of it. 7.49 for your sunshine batik. Let me open this out so you can see. Just 7.49 and a half meter. It will look incredible in the sunshine. Oh, sorry, I think our graphics are wrong. Um, on the What price is it on the website? Eight ninety nine. Sorry about that. Oh, I tried for you, I did try. Laura says no. Right, so, remember, available in the Mega Bundle and also available um, individually. We've also got the lovely blue. Or is it gone? That's available. That's only available in the Mega Bundle. The Mega Bundle is all 12 half metre pre cuts, six metres in total. It's £106.99. The only way of getting this lovely blue, the only way of getting it is in that full Mega Bundle. Only way of getting that, remember, Mega Bundle. Thanks, Joe. Oh, he's a huffing and a puffing in there. Uh, next one is one of your favourites. This is your lovely print, NPW134. <gasps> That's the one I want as a dress. That is the one I would love as a dress. And you could have a matching one in the purple. Gosh, it just looks like a work of art, doesn't it? You know when you see a beautiful watercolour picture? How about for things for the bathroom, like a little um, drawstring bag? Little storage tubs. It would be really pretty as a little, um, uh, I'm thinking like a toiletries bag or makeup bag. Or... Isn't it lovely? £8.99. I wasn't listening to you. What were you saying it looks like? One of them look like Bambi. Oh. Everyone will be different though. That's what I absolutely love about it. Everyone's will be slightly different. It's beautiful though, that is, isn't it? That's absolutely one of my faves. We've also got it available by the half meter in the purple. So we are extremely limited on these on the, by the half meter. We've put as many as we possibly can to make the mega bundle still, but now um, it, it does unfortunately mean that this one is only available as a mega bundle, 106 pounds and 99 pence. Um, yeah, that one's gone by the half meter. I'm not surprised. That's lovely, isn't it? That's really nice indeed. Okay, so we've then got the blues and purples. This is called Night Sky. Hopefully all of these we've now got by the half meter, which is good. Um, oh, very nice indeed. So it's the same sort of print as the orange this time in your blues and purples. Quite dramatic, isn't it? That would be lovely for little um, storage boxes or bags. Dressmakers, now is your opportunity. If you've been loving the last uh, couple of hours dressmaking theme, have a go. Even if you, if you were to embellish with this, like you don't need to make a full dress with it, but having things like linings of cuffs or collars or, um, or inside pockets. How about using this as a lining? Don't get me wrong, yes, 
extremely indulge extremely indulgent but i love that bit of luxury 8.99 a half meter and your chance to try out working with batik fabrics go for it that's the blues and purples we've then also got this psychedelic that's the only word i keep using for this one it's it's um, I, I think it's because it's got this great dark background. It's extremely dramatic, isn't it? This one has got your purples, your pinks, your oranges. Oh, wow. Imagine a shirt, a blouse or a, a maxi dress. Just having that really lovely dark background. Amazing. £8.99, a half metre for your multi-spirals on black. The only one with that great dark background, which I think for quilting as well looks really dramatic. I can almost imagine if you're um, new to free motion quilting, you could almost use those swirls as a bit of a guideline to do some echoing with your free motion quilting. And you can absolutely quilt with this. Sorry about the big thread there, in the centre, sorry. Just eight pounds at 99 pence. What about like, I'm thinking even like little flower pots or storage tubs. Is it your, is it your favorite now, Laura? The purples and the blues. Oh, I'm hoping we've got this by the half metre. Yeah, right, are you ready? Because this is now extremely limited. Four and a half metres left. If you want all four and a half metres, put it in your basket and check out now. It is £8.99, a half metre, but I've got a feeling someone's going to come and bag the lot. If you do want all four and a half metres, be quick. This is your ocean boutiques. It's stunning. Like your lovely watercolours, aren't they? These blues and purples look just like a work of art. They almost look like really cool sunsets. Do you know what I mean? Love them. £8.99 for your ocean boutique. Does it? It reminds me of like, you can see the sun in the distance. There's the ocean and the skies. And you know, when you see on holiday, like lovely, dramatic, almost purple and red skies. Oh, they're just amazing. Like this sort of scene here. Oh, sorry. Eight pounds, 99 and a half metre. Gorgeous and soft as well. It's beautiful quality fabric. Don't forget to press that green button. That'll be the next thing, won't it? Imagine, that will just be the future, won't it? You're able to press the green button. We get interactive. You can reach in and feel the, uh, the fabric. Yeah, I'm going to probably wish that that doesn't happen. Okay, go on. Yeah, uh, do you know what? We are interactive. We are getting interactive. We're trying anyway. We've got our email machine upstairs. Um, it's a computer. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Send your pictures in. Come say hello. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. We've also got this lovely bright blue. Look at this. As a reminder, remember, as it is batik, this is not a printed fabric. This is a traditionally dyed fabric. Your reverse is also that lovely ocean blue. Do you know that song? Ocean Drive. You do. Sun's gonna shine on everything you do. That one, I love that. That just reminds me of this, yeah, this lovely summer print. I can imagine a gorgeous shirt. I'll pull rocking a shirt like that. It's called Ocean Drive, isn't it? Seven pounds 49. You just made that sound really uncool then, Joe. He sang it very like, um, the sun's gonna shine on everything you do. Oh no, he's going to get up and leave. He's going to fade me to, to darkness. Oh, I shouldn't upset Sassy Sue today. He was just having a nice little, he was just having a nice little sing song, wasn't he? Hang on, sorry, price is wrong. It's 8 99 Sorry, 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 sorry. 8 99 it's on the website, 8 99 Sorry, it's our graphic machine, our... Uh, 
in our email machine. It's all going wrong when you rely on the technology. Okay. And then you've got this lovely pink and orange. This is one of my favourite colour combinations, you know. I've been desperate to try and find a dress like this. Isn't that lovely? Eight pounds, 99. Oh, sorry, I've got that song in your head now, haven't I? Just reminds me of tie-dye. I went through quite a stage of loving tie-dye. My friend Meg actually did a tie-dye top the other day. I really wanted to have a go at it myself at home. It's not the same as, you know, traditionally dyeing technique on the beaches in Bali, is it? But, gosh, it's gorgeous quality. Just £8.99. We absolutely need to do it as an educational, uh, you know, group trip to Bali. You can all come at home as well. It would be lovely. We also could do... Um, yeah, we'll pitch it to Hayley and Neil. We could, we could film the show from the beach in Bali. Live stream. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Is everybody on board with that at home? So, just a reminder, all of these together, if you do want to make the most of the mega bundle, you make a saving, don't you? You've got to make a saving. I'm sure you do. If I've, my, ma my maths sometimes doesn't serve me always too well, but I think that if you were to buy these individually, all of them, and then it would cost more. The problem is, is that we haven't got these available individually. I think it would cost 177, did you say? No. Oh, okay, you save a pound. Save a pound nearly. Nearly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awkward. Sorry. Six meters. For £106 and 97 pence. It's true, you do make you do make a diff you do make a saving. Maybe that's why some of these are 749. Okay. Let's move on before we get even worse at our maths. Let's do Canning Days, one of my favourite ranges from Moda. It's so beautiful, perfect for this time of year. And the amount of times we've done some really beautiful sort of uh, mixer bundles that go beautifully with it. So yes, it's 66.99, which I understand again is more considered, but you are looking at the most beautiful quality Moda fabric. And if you were to uh, go onto our web shop and have a look at the plain fabrics, if you were to buy a few half meters, whether it be of any of the yellows or the ivories or creams or this lovely spearmint or pink, you're gonna be able to make it go so much further. You get a lot of Moda fabric for 66.99, four and a half meters, all from that lovely Canning Days range. Half a meter of each of these prints. We're going to do our best to see what we have as well. Buy the half metre for you. Just £66.99 and pence for all four and a half metres. It will be one of the last chances to get this whole mega bundle, as I know lots of them are selling, uh, well, are very, very limited now by the half metre. They're all so pretty, aren't they? Now, these are different sort of weight to the boutiques. They're heavier weight, which are perfect for quilting. We talk quite often about, you know, different weights of fabric, whether it be um, like a poplin weight or a cotton lawn weight. They're all 100% cotton, but this one designed for uh, designed for quilters. So they've thought about the different scales of print. They've thought about the more ditzy prints. They thought about the larger scale and the different colours that complement each other. So if you were to use all of these in a quilt, they'd look amazing. Have a look. Go on to Pinterest again. I keep talking about different social media. It's definitely worth doing, though. If you get this collection, just type in Canning Days Moda onto the internet and you'll find so many great inspiring pictures giving you some idea of what you can do with them. So, by the half metre, shall I go from the top? Let's have a look at this lovely spearminty green with your lovely pink flowers. So they are 112 inches wide. Seven pounds 49, ACW126. There you go. They're like little lovely bouquets of flowers, aren't they? Only four metres of this left. This is what I'm talking about. If you do want to get um, any of your big designer bundles, all of the fabric now in this range is extremely limited, so we're going to be struggling to put together that mega bundle again. I think it could be the last chance to get that. Look at the little ditzy spot as well. 
So that's so nice, isn't it? You could fussy cut these bouquets of flowers and applique them onto t-shirts and all sorts. Your pattern repeats. Um, yeah, you've got, well, you've got loads of bouquets on there, even if you're just getting half a metre. 749. We've got this available as well with the white background or with the lighter ivory background. Um, which is this one. The corals and oranges look beautiful. In fact, this would look, oh, this would be really nice for dressmakers as well. It still it can be used for dressmaking, even though we're saying quilting weight fabric. Problem is, da, 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 it is about to sell out. If you want more than two metres, I'm sorry, we can't do it. I think there's only two metres left of this now. 7.49, be quick. Four units left, that's it. Remember, we sell by the half metre, but if it's going to be, uh, if you are going to take multiple units, uh, of course, it is going to mean that you, uh, you'll you get it all joined up. It'll be cut off the bolt to whatever size you want, which is ideal for dressmakers. Just be aware, it's 112 wide. Now, same colourway, this time with a Dipsy print. As you're going along our quilting journey, I know we talk a lot about, you know, using those different quality fabrics. If you're making something that you want to be passed down through generations of your family, um, Moda are so renowned for their quality of their quilting cotton. But they've also thought about different textures. Uh, and I don't necessarily mean texture to the touch. You don't need to press your green button. <laughs> More texture to the eye, so they're different scales of print. So having the smaller ditzy prints are going to look really interesting to the eye next to the larger, the larger flowers. 749. This is your strings cloud. Apron strings cloud. 749. That's your favourite, isn't it, Laura? I think that's beautiful. As lovely little purses, I'm thinking as well. Oh, it says on your salvage. I always keep salvages. It says, plant kindness, gather love. It's a nice little quote, isn't it? Now, this is one of my favourites. It's got that really lovely dark, almost like a grey background, which if you were to say a floral print with a grey background in a spring sort of range, I'd go, it won't work. And this is why my job, I, I tell you what, I'm so bad at putting fabrics together. I really am. I think it's a skill in itself. So to be able to get you know, the, the pros to do it for you. It does really, really work. 7.49, a half metre. For your twilight jelly bouquet, your greens, your pinks, your lovely spot in the background. Just 7.49, a half metre. It's £3.95, b and all day long. So if you are multiplying by multiple units, add two units to your order if you want to buy a metre. If you want four metres, you add eight units to your basket. It goes up on a sort of linear scale. Thank you. Ah, right. The next one isn't available on, the, on its own. So the only way of getting this next one is in the mega bundle option, which is available today. So this one, only way of getting it is in the mega bundle. It's £66.99. pence. Lovely floral. Okay. Sorry, that's all completely sold out now by the half metre. This one. Ah, strawberries. Although I would still say that this had more of a coral, coral colour. You used to know a girl called Coral. That's an unusual name, isn't it? Nice name. I really like her um, names after flowers, do you? Metre and a half of this now left. Metre and a half, it's last of stock. 7.49, that will sell out any second now. Pardon, Laura. Um, if you want that, be quick, be quick, be quick. That's about to sell out. There's more of you who've got it in baskets and we have availability or about to sell out. I've got the same colourway this time with the Dipsy prints. This is your apron, uh, apron spring sudden rose. Strings and rows. Strings on rows, I thought it is. Strings and. Whoop! Seven 
seven pounds 49 and a half meter and it's that lovely peachy coral right that one again all of these i tell you what are incredibly limited now i'm calling this last i'm i'm just making a bit of a stand here and saying this is last chance on moda because this is two meters two meters that are left now be quick be quick be quick the um greens this is fresh isn't it this is fresh This is picked cloud, rainy day. Oh, see, that is beautiful, isn't it? And they're really lovely greens. Two and a half metres left of this. It's last of stock on our Moda canning days. When we used to have the pre-cuts in, they sold out really quick. We had the, uh, the layer 10 inch ones and we also had, I think we had the jelly roll, didn't we? Or the design roll. We used to, we had the two and a half inch strips as well and they sold out straight away. And this is going to be, I think, the final chance on a lot of these by the half meter. Okay, outside the mega bundle, there's only, how many meters did you say, sorry? Two and a half meters left. That's it. I'm moving on. Uh, the last one. We have more availability, yes. So if you do think home furnishings, how lovely would this be for a nice big bedspread? Oh, lovely, or a blind even. This would be really, really nice for a blind. Spare bedroom, cushions, bedding set. Maybe a freshen up. Have you been doing any painting during the lockdown? Have you been doing any decorating? Have you moved house? <gasps> Joe's just moved house. Had a grand tour yesterday on um, on the Zoom. Just seven pound forty nine a half meter. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, so just a reminder, if you do want that whole mega bundle, half a metre of all of your canning days range, bearing in mind, majority of them are selling out extremely quickly. It's just £66.99 for the whole shebang. I've got a feeling that could be the last chance that you get all of those colours because, um, yeah, majority of them are incredibly limited now. Right. It's all right. We've now got... Now, you are going to have to sort of bear with me because I don't know whether this one's... Yeah, I thought so. So, let's have a look at the Mega Bundle and I'll tell you what other fabric is, um, is supposed to be in here. Do you want to do that on the overhead? So, this one, you get... There is one missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine and a half meters, so you get four and a half um, meters in total. Sixty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. So you have half a meter of this one, half a meter of the script one. Now that one you also get in yellow. So you get it in this color, and you also get it in a yellow, which is like an antique yellow. It's really lovely. It's like a creamy yellow. It goes perfectly with this collection. It's from the same range. So you get that print again in yellow as well in this mega bundle. Sorry, they sent that one, which is obviously not the right one. Um, you then also have your lovely vines. That's so beautiful, isn't it? They all work very, very well together. I've got a feeling that you might have a design in mind at home, maybe a quilt pattern that's been ready to go for ages and you've been looking for the right collection to go with it. £66.99 is a fantastic price for how much fabric you're getting. So there's the script one again in the red and it's a very, very opulent red, isn't it? It's like this lovely, um, it reminds me of a, a, a lovely country house, maybe like escape to the country style, stately home. A lovely quilt draped over a, a big four poster bed or a longer sofa, it's gorgeous. You then also have these beautiful grey, so you've got the, the sort of trellisy one. This one that's got a slight mottled background. And then uh, your florals, which will tie in that yellow. You've got like antique yellowy petals, which will look lovely with your script in yellow as well. £66.99. Remember, that's four and a half metres in total. Nine of your uh, half metre pre-cuts. We've got them available individually, majority of them available individually. Shall I start with this one? Oh, 
Oh, so RBW162 isn't available. Is that right? RBW162. The grey ones aren't available by the half metre. Okay, so these ones, I'm just going to show you, they're not available by the half metre. They're only available in the uh, Mega Bundle, those three. <laughs> okay, so the script one in yellow is available on the website. There's the graphics. If you want to look at the photograph, have you got it on the web, Joe? I wonder whether it is the correct pictures on, uh, on the website. We'll have a look so we can show it to you. Um, the item code is IYW114. Oh no, Laura with her, uh, her Geordie accent. <laughs> there it is. So that's the one that you're getting. You may have seen it before on it. It is your three sisters flourish script on yellow. Well, yellow on white, seven pound 49 and a half meter. So that is available by the half meter. We also have this one. <laughs> we can't do it now, we can do it now. And this is such a beautiful ditzy print. I think even taking section of, of this and having them on lovely cushions with white lace would look beautiful. 749 half meter. Ah. Oops. There you go. It's all right, you can just tell me. Again, go up, down, left, right. The stickers in the middle. <laughs> just like that. 749 half metre, your budding vines on white with that lovely grey. See, this will go very, 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 very well with my uh, home decor, actually. Very neutral, and it's going to go lovely with any of your fabrics that you've already got in your stash. Oh, yeah, with my new rabbit lamps. Oh, I could make some shades with this. I can't find sh the right colour shade. That is such a good idea, Laura. I can cover my own, can't I? Because I've got the right shape shade. Right, I need to ask Debbie Shaw, how can I reupholster my shade? Because it's a certain size and tapered shape. I'm going to put it on the fan page and ask you at home. I wonder whether I could do it with a circle cutter. Cut the right size out of fabric and cover it. Good idea. Okay. Um, I've also got the script on grey which is this one. I don't know where the sticker is. I'm trying to find it. Seven pound 49 and a half meter. Again, that would look beautiful as a cushion, wouldn't it? Or a, even like a reupholstering headboard with this. Having it as a blind, maybe in a, a, a bedroom or living room, anywhere, it'd look beautiful. As one of those blinds, is it called a Roman blind, the ones that roll, or is a Roman blind one of those that folds? That would look beautiful as a Roman blind then if it's the one that folds. That would look gorgeous. And because you've got this script, now I think we worked it out as being French, didn't we? <laughs> I think we understood that it, we none of us could read it, so we presumed that it was French because I think Anna can speak a different language. Hannah can speak a different language. It was all of us, we sort of, um, yeah, we all sort of, uh, yeah, narrowed it down to it being French. And your memoirs flourish. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Okay. Oh no, we're so limited on this range, you know. And this is one of the most popular that we have. I think this is so traditional and so beautiful. This is now the only other one that we can available. Oh no, we can't. There's another one. Brilliant. So then this one is gorgeous. Look at that. We forgive you. How pretty would that be as a, a dress as well? 
nice buttoned dress. But you could use this absolutely for dressmaking. On natural as well. It's not a stark white background, is it? It's a lovely natural sort of ivory colour. It'd be a beautiful skirt as well, and it's going to look lovely. Just £7.49 or four bags. That'd look lovely as well. Right, so the only one other one that we have available is the red. Is the red berry with the script writing again. So the only way, just a reminder, the only way of being able to get this one is in the mega bundle, which I'll show you in a second. Your red berry is this one. Seven forty nine and a half meter. Your flourish script on berry. Seven pounds forty nine and a half meter. That again, this just reminds me, I can imagine these as big, opulent, uh, I'm thinking oversized cushions or a bolster cushion with a piped edge. A nice red cord piping around a bolster cushion or round, you know, if you have like a very big, uh, an oversized one. And um, there's a really, really posh interior design shop that's opposite me. And they've got these really big cushions and they do what they call the Chelsea chop that's like in the center of the cushion. And they look really expensive. Well, they are very expensive. I think they're about £120 a cushion. Make your own. Absolutely make your own. This is designer mode. This, yeah, £7.49 half metre. They've got, like, frilly edges. They've got, like, um, I do look at them and think, I could make that. I could make that. That's what's exciting, isn't it? You know when you go to these really fancy shops, you go into Liberty or you go to um, any of the, the department stores or individual boutique shops. I mean, I love this one that's near where I live. But my word, everything, yeah, it's very expensive. The cushions are expensive. 7.49, a half metre. But if you had a nice sort of um, inner inside, you could do that, couldn't you? Right. So, that's all of those that are available by the half metre, I'm afraid. Everything else is now sold out, only available as a mega bundle. Just to remind you, this one, I'm going to open this one out because you didn't see this individually, and this is um, only available in the mega bundle, and I love it. So you're going to get half a metre of this beautiful print. There's such great detail. This is the collage one. It's the last chance to get it, and it's the only way of getting it now is in the bundle. 66.99. Just so you know, well done if you've checked out on the mega bundle. There's only now three left. Only three mega bundles left now. Very, very popular indeed. It's got the lovely musical stave on there. Okay, we've got one more bundle to show you. Oh dearie me, I'm getting in the right pickle. Here we go. Now it features two moda, two of your uh, three sisters range, and then you're also getting two complementary Rose and Hubble fabrics, which they look lovely. This rose goes perfectly with your little, they remind me of like little fluffy straw, well not little fluffy strawberries because when they're fluffy they're not very nice are they generally. <laughs> but they are so cute, the little flowers and little fluffy straws. Just £21.49. pence. This is one of my favourites from the Three Sisters range. So what's I mean? Right, this is now not available individually. It's only available as a bundle. You get half a metre of this one, which is your light blue, beautiful floral. Um, you then also get the sort of vine design in that same duck eggy blue colour. Half a metre of this one. And then they're complementing it with half a metre of your blush and half a metre of cream. So again, like Laura said with the last range, having um, the, not such a stark white background actually works really well with these traditional fabrics. It makes it quite a bit softer, actually. So you can see that the rose, if I put this next to it, just having small sections of it next to the floral print will look absolutely beautiful will look really, really beautiful. So, are any of these available individually, Laura? All of them. All of them apart from that bouquet one. So we'll do the other Moda one first. Your other Moda individually is this one. I like the quotes on this one as well. It's, um, it says, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you just keep moving. Cute, isn't it? Seven pounds, 49, a half metre. Yeah, Albert Einstein. 
It's like a lovely ducky blue with great vines as well, lovely detail, but a smaller ditzy print, so it will go perfectly with the with the bouquet fabric in your bundle. So that's seven pound forty nine and a half meter for your budding vines. We've also got your planes. Right, are you ready? Because every single time we do this, so many units sell. Now, just to remind you, all of this is available, all of these solids are always available as plain fabrics on our web shop. But whenever we bring them to air, everyone goes, oh yes, I could do with some cream, I'll stock up whilst we can. 3.49, all 36 units will sell out today. It looks like, um, don't worry, you don't need to adjust your TV. I'm Celia. It's just, um, <laughs> hello. It's just, uh, yeah, plain cream fabric. Very useful with your canning days, very useful with your boutiques, very nice with any of the fabrics that we've shown this hour, but always just useful for your stash. We've only got 36 units, we'll get more, but um, if you do want to stock up whilst you can, absolutely make the most of that now. Check out as soon as you can. And then this lovely blush, one of my favourite pinks. Really all right for time, Jo? Your lovely pink blush. 349 is great price, isn't it? See what I mean? This, this is what I mean when I say about the uh, designer fabrics going that bit further if you team it with a um, with one of your plain fabrics. Just three pounds and forty nine pence. Anything that you've liked, please do check out as soon as you can. There's so many that are very limited, including the boutique bundle. Lots of people checking out on it. It's the most gorgeous Moda bundle. It's unlike anything else that I've seen from Moda. It's really cool and. It is today, £106.99. We only have six of these bundles left. You get half a metre of every single one of these gorgeous petite prints for £106.99. They're all half metre pre-cuts. They're not all available individually, but if you want to have a look on the web shop and see the individual uh, fabrics, have a look. Do not go anywhere though. Check out your baskets, but be back with us. We're going to do a bit of a pit stop on two of our favourite sewing machines, plus some more tools coming up right after this. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. 
every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio, so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is, in fact, quilting, patchwork and quilting, and I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer. But I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some, something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere. And sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah, I should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one, keep a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush, it's not a race. Have a little practice with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so you get your techniques just right. But also slow down, take your time, watch what you're doing, think about what you're doing and read the instructions. That's always very useful. So what can I say? I've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be and I would have to say in all honesty, being on Sewing Street. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely morning. Wherever you're up to, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. Uh, what we're gonna do this hour, this is a brand new machine to me. I absolutely love it, huge, a 780 plus. Uh, we're gonna talk about in a moment. Uh, plus we're also gonna be talking about the 680. At this moment, I would love to have your input. We are a full interactive show, remember? So if you do wanna get in touch with us, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio, so, dot, so, blah, 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 stu no, let's start again. 
It's one of those days today. Studio at sewingstreets.com is our email address. Get any of your questions in. If there's something that you want to know about these machines, if I don't know them, we can find out and I will let you know. So we'll try and answer as many questions as possible. If, there, if you have any of these machines, we also want to hear from you. Please let me know if you've got either of the machines and what you love about it. Um, gonna start by talking about my absolute baby. I love the 680 plus. Uh, I must say that this is our flagship machine. This is like our go-to machine. And when we're talking about, um, obviously, a new show, uh, we're a new show, only started back in February. It's quite a statement, actually. We, we are a new show that are built up over industry experts, uh, behind the scenes, all working together, finding you the best deals, uh, bringing together the relationships with companies that we've known for years, Elna being one of them, who is a very, very reputable company. Elna have been uh, making sewing machines, I think, since 1940, about just over 80 years. Um, they are incredibly, incredibly famous for uh, their quality of machine. So that's the first thing that I would think about when you're, when you're looking at purchasing, maybe you're upgrading a machine or whether you are uh, looking to invest in Something that's going to be able to be a big sort of mixed skill, mixed medium, this is the machine I will always recommend. We have guest designers that are coming in all the time. We will be having guest designers coming in and sewing with us every day. Um, and this will probably be the most used machine. It's sort of our go-to machine. Why? As I say, it's got so many incredible features and functions that are going to help you with virtually all of your sewing needs. The price on this is, well, in fact, I say the price, the whole machine is exclusive to us here in the UK, which is very exciting. Um, I know so many industry experts that are, um, there's so many interest, industry experts that are, um, they use this as a profession. They sew every single day. I also know hobby sewers that may only have chance to sew on a Sunday that also loves this love this machine. Now this is my personal opinion, and I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying this, but if I'm being brutally honest, if you were to say to me, I've got 2,000 pounds or two and a half thousand pounds to spend on a machine today, I would still direct you into the, this direction because I think this does so much and more that you will not outgrow this very, very quickly. Lots, as I say, industry experts I know who use this machine. So let's turn it on and have a look at some of the amazing features and functions. So straight away, you will notice that it's very, very well lit. You've got plenty of LED lights that are all over the machine that are gonna give you great visibility. And also this extra wide throat space. So extra sewing room. It comes also with a big extension table. So those of you that are quilters, dressmakers, bag makers, doing soft furnishings. Um, this is absolutely ideal for you to be able to have plenty maximum room sewing. But then again, if you need to pack it down and pack it away, if you don't have a designated sewing space or sewing room, then this is still absolutely fine to be, to be moving away. Don't get me wrong, it is a sturdy machine, it is weighty, um, but it's, it's not as big and as heavy as some of the other machines that, that Eleanor offer. So, Talked about the, the extra space, talked about the light. It does also have a free arm. So if you're a dressmaker, it's gonna be helping to get with those intricate uh, sleeves. It's gonna be brilliant for bag makers as well. Anything that you're sewing in around that, uh, the free arm is going to help. The storage is fantastic. They've thought about the space. So you've got extra space to keep all of your bits and bobs, any of your extra feet. I will talk through your standard accessories in a bit. Also as well, another feature of the Elna is that you've got this little wardrobe. Love that. And they're all labelled as well. They're all labelled. So each of your feet have got letters on them, which will sync up with your machine as I'll go through in a second. As we're at this part of the machine, I will show you um, some of the, the quick, almost speed dial features, which are very, very popular when looking at the Elna 680+. So you've got a really quick and easy threading system with 
a fantastic superior needle threader. Ever so quick, no longer are we sitting at the, in the sewing machine, straining our eyes, trying to, to, to find a little hole to be able to thread your, to be able to thread your needle. It's just quick and easy with the Elna Superior Needle Threader. You've also then noticed you've got a start stop button. Um, this is very, very handy if you don't want to use your foot pedal. Now it does come with your foot pedal. You can use it, you can plug that in and use that if that's what you're used to. But if you do want to maybe sew with children, they can't reach the foot pedal, or if you just have got used to using your start stop button, you have got the option. You've got a reversing button, you've got a locking stitch, I love that. It will just do your little locking stitch at the start of your, your sequence. Needle up down if you're doing some pivoting, if you're stopping and repositioning your fabrics, and you've got the needle up down button. My favourite, and I know so many people's favourites, is the automatic snips. This machine has a memory. So even though it's computerized, don't be put off by that. Even I can use this and I'm a technophobe. I'm really bad at technology. And this is my go-to machine because I can plug it in and start sewing very, very quickly. The memory button, you can obviously do your sequence of um, stitches, but you can also memorize it that at the end of every stitch sequence, you can finish with a locking stitch and then cutting your thread. You can end your sequence with cutting your thread. It means you're gonna save thread and save time. Speed control. You can do up to a thousand stitches a minute on this. It's super duper quick. Um, and it won't skip stitches, especially with the, the straight needle uh, stitch plate that you've got included as standard accessories. Uh, so you can do some really speedy straight sewing if you're doing lots of chain piecing, or if you do want to slow it right down whilst you're sewing, you can control this, which I know is a, a very, very interesting feature actually. So whilst you're sewing, you're going quick, you're coming to a pivoting corner, you want to slow down, you can just Slow it right down, and no matter how hard you put your foot down on the pedal, it won't let you override that unless you're moving it. So that's brilliant. Also, the stitches. You have got hundreds. Uh, this is what's fantastic about the machine is that it's so versatile. So if you're doing applique, there's a whole range of applique stitches. If you're doing just your straight stitching, you've got a great variety of utility stitches. You've got 10 different buttonholes. You've got decorative stitches. You've got almost like pictorial stitches. So even though this isn't in an embroidery machine, I find there's enough for me here to do monogramming and personalization and still be able to add pictures to it as well. So there's loads and loads of stitches there to, to, to play around with. Oh, I've never, I thought, where on earth is the stylus? It's there, there's a little pocket at the top for your stylus. You can obviously do twin needling, you can, there's an automatic bobbin winder, an independent bobbin winder, so you can uh, actually wind your bobbin whilst you're sewing. Uh, you've got all of your spaces as well, so you've got three different alphabets. Your alphabets are here in different modes. And at the end, you've got your spaces and your full stop, um, which I believe is that one your, no, that one's your locking stitch. So 87 at the end, once you've picked out, you could do a sequence of a spool and then some scissors, a bow and a vine, and then a locking stitch at the end and that will stop your sequence. Right, Jo, I'm gonna need you. How many stitches in total are there, Laura, sorry? 170, 170, which include 10 buttonholes. I'm gonna move down to the L, uh, LCD screen, which I've got my stylus for. It's a very, very, uh, what's the word? Reactive touch screen. It's going to react really, really easy. It's a very touch sensitive mas machine, but you can't go wrong with it. So once I've turned it on, I'm gonna turn it off again just to prove how quick and easy this is. So once you're plugged into the main, you turn it on, it's automatically gone straight to the default stitch width and stitch length for my straight stitch, which is telling me that it's, I'm on mode one, I'm on stitch number one, I'm, on, uh, I'm using foot A, which I've got there. It will tell you what's best to use. So if you're doing one of your decorative stitches, I'm just gonna pick a satin stitch, for example, which is again in mode one. It's number 77. It's telling me I need to change my foot to an F foot, which will obviously let the needle bounce. And look at how it's automatically also changed what stitch width and stitch length I need. So even though, yes, it is a computerized machine, don't be put off by that. It's really quick and easy to use. So you've got your cancel button. I'm one of these people that, what does this button do? What does this button do? And if you're like that and you get yourself in a bit of a mess, you press cancel, 
it will take you back to the start nice and easy this is like your speed dial section that you've got your straight stitch oh sorry i'm looking at the the monitor and not looking at the screen uh is this your core of an inch foot the your core of an inch um stitch as well you've got a zigzag there you've also got a quick buttonhole tell you again remember to put your r foot on which is your buttonhole uh foot it's automatically defaulted to the correct uh, sort of stitch width and stitch length. Well, I say correct, recommended, I should say. So let's pick another one that you can alter. I'm going to go back to one of my satin stitches. Let's do another one, 76. So this one is obviously like a zigzag, but actually, uh, oh, it's telling me I can't go any wider with my zigzag, but I can go smaller. Did you hear the noise that it made, though? It won't let me. It won't let me do something I'm not allowed to do, basically. So it is fantastic for that. I'll go back to one. You've also got your mode section here. So I can go through my modes. It's changing one, two, three, four, uh, and five, six, in fact, because you've got the alphabet as well there at the end. So you've got all six different modes, really easy to navigate through. Um, and my needle, I, I know you can't see right there, but it's actually moving along with me. It's all automatic. You've got your little memory section here. So if you do want to add in your um, scissors, it's going to snip your thread at the end at the end it's your automatic thread cutter you've also got your locking stitch this was how i was changing my stitch uh, width and my stitch length you can navigate through um, uh, any of your stitches using the arrows and then this one here elongating so some of them you can actually stretch some of your satin stitches obviously it's not letting me on this one but there are stitches here that you can make elongate them longer you can flip some of the images so this is one if you've got a pictorial, uh, like one of the cars or any of the floral designs that you then want to flip it over. You can do it with the, uh, the mirror setting. You've got a twin needling option here. Twin needling is really, really fun. I know Debbie's done lots of the twin needling to show everybody. And then you've also got your settings button. So, I mean, the touch screen is fantastic. It will navigate right the way through. Oh, what have I done? So there are all my settings going through, all the different settings for your different modes. So... Then I've gone back to the start. It also comes with a knee lift. In fact, should we have a look at some of the, 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 the standard accessories that come with this machine? Because I say it comes with a huge plethora of feet and, uh, and accessories to go with it. So it comes with the A foot, as I said, that's the standard sewing. It also comes with your foot, which is Mark D, which is your rolled hem foot. So if you're working with really lovely uh, sort of uh, thin, uh, I'm thinking like a really lightweight, voily fabric, organza that you want to do a rolled hem on. Oh, what about some lovely scarves you could do as well? Your rolled hem foot's there. Your zipper foot, brilliant. Bag makers, dressmakers, fantastic for your zipper foot. Your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot as well, so you can see exactly what you're doing for your applique. You've got a blind hem foot if you want to turn up some trousers without seeing the stitches um that's really useful to have your overlock foot as well uh, your quarter of an inch foot for quilters your darning foot your convertible free motion quilting kit now this is great have a go with the free motion quilting kit because you've got an open toe a, clo uh, a closed toe an open toe and a clear view foot so the only two feet that you will need to use the screwdriver for I should show you actually, it's really, really easy to make the most of changing between all of those feet. There is a little button just literally at the side of your foot, which you can just simply press and change over to any of the other feet. The only ones that you would need your screwdriver for are your free motion and your walking foot. So there's a little black button, which you'll see in a second, um, which is so quick and easy to change. So there's the little button. Oh no, at the back, there it is. And um, that's easily changed. So then when you're ready to put your other foot on, it actually has an extra lift as well, I should have said. So there's your down position, your ordinary, and then it's got that extra lift. So if you are working with bulkier seams, that is handy. Very, very handy indeed. Right, so I'm doing this backwards. Clips into place, like so. You've also got the little screwdriver and the, the screw at the side. Um, so where's my screwdriver? I've put that down somewhere. There's my screwdriver. Get your screwdriver and the screw at the side if you are changing it for your free motion foot or your walking foot. Now it comes with 
a walking foot as standard. They're normally sort of 50 pounds anyway. Let's go back to your standard accessories, your feet that are included. So we got to the free motion kit. It comes with a free motion quilting kit. Thank you, Joe. Um, you also have your free even feed foot, your automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizing plate, your buttonhole, your button sewing foot, so you can sew on your buttons and you can do circular pivoting with the circular pivoting pin so you can do some lovely circular quilting your quilting guide bar your quilting by a guide file with a even feed foot your straight stitch needle plate so it's not going to if you're only doing straight stitching if you're doing lots of quilting this is fantastic because it's not going to sew up uh, chew up your fabrics it's going to give you a lovely accurate straight, straight stitches it then also comes with all of your bits and bobs like extra spools extra um, where well, your needle um, set your seam ripper uh, bobbins, foot controller, you send your hard cover, your extra wide extension table, which is big, your knee lift, comes with all of that as standard. Um, also, what I was going to mention with this is some of its uh, features and functions. Uh, as mentioned earlier on, it, it goes up to a thousand stitches a minute. It comes with 170 uh, stitches, as well as 10 buttonholes. Uh, it comes with a free arm, your automatic and programmable thread cutter, your presser foot pressure adjustment, your easy and guided bobbin threader and built in thread cutter, uh, your sensors as well, your bobbin thread and upper thread sensor, so it'll tell you when it's running low, your extra wide extension table, and your 10 unit kit easy bobbins. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please, please do get them in. Now, I need to find out about the whole warranty situation because you definitely get two years as, as standard with Elna. I know that we had a certain amount of machines that we were able to extend that guarantee. Ah, so I'm hoping you still get it up to five years warranty. Um, I will confirm that before the end of the hour, but I actually think as well with this machine, you might get five years warranty through Elna. So, Absolutely have a serious think about it. I understand it's a considered purchase, but what I find about this is that um, it, is that you get everything that you're going to need to, maybe you're, you're upgrading to your first computerized machine. It's not something that you're going to grow out of, but it's definitely something that you're going to be able to, to have a go at everything. If you're a bag maker that likes dressmaking or if you do soft furnishing and you want to try toy making or uh, quilting it is one of those sort of mixed skill machines I think it's going to do everything and really really help with your end results I find that I've now completely sort of outgrown my sewing machine at home and when I come in here and I get to sew on this it just makes my sewing look so much more professional it it makes it so enjoyable when I'm not fiddling around trying to get the tensions right or trying to work out my stitch length and stitch width because it just defaults for you. It's quick and easy to set up, uh, really easy to thread, to sort your bobbin, to do everything. You just get sewing and it makes it so enjoy enjoyable. It's also really quiet actually. So if you're sewing of an evening or you've got, you know, a family who are sitting watching the television and you've got quite a noisy big machine, this is actually really quiet. Another reason that we want to use this as our staple machine for on air because we can talk whilst demonstrating. It's actually really nice and quiet, but all but it, it is a fantastic build from Elna. Just £1,099. If you were thinking about it maybe today is the day speak to the customer service team or email in if you've got any other questions 0800 001 44 33 is there anything i've missed thank you right okay so that's the 680 plus if there is anything that you would like me to go over please let me know any questions of course if we, i can answer it on air i will if i can't I will find out personally for you and be able to get back to you. So it's studio at sewingstreet.com. Our Facebook page is fantastic as well. There's already people, there's always people monitoring the Facebook page. So if you have got any questions, get them in. Okay. This is a big boy, isn't it? Oh my word. Okay. This is your excellent 780 plus. Da, 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 da. It's a big machine. It's a weighting machine. Um, I know that this is one of Debbie's absolute favourites. She was talking about it yesterday when she saw the menu. I heard her say, oh, I absolutely love this machine. So it is more considered, but my word, again, it does so, so much. I might need to just move it a little so you don't see the glare so much from the, the, the screen. 
It has got an even bigger sewing bed. It's got an even bigger throat space. So if you are doing home furnishings, if you're doing quilting, you've got so much room. We've already been through exactly the same as the, the 680 plus. You've got your speed control, your variable speed control. You've got your thread cutter. This looks like your foot sort of lift. It's going to lift your foot up and down automatically so you don't need to take your, you know, your hands off your fabric as well. You've got that quick speed dial button. You've also got your needle up down, your locking stitch, your reverse stitch, and you can use it with or without a foot pedal. It also has your um, Elna Fantastic Superior needle threading. It's got the extra lift on the foot so you can fit some nice big chunky fabrics through here. An option to drop your feed dogs to be able to do free motion. Um, I'm just wondering if this one has a free arm or not. I don't think it does. It's got the extra storage space at the front. Um, did you think there's a button, Joe? Oh, so there's extra storage at the back as well. So I suppose you could use this as a bit of a free arm, but it's got an extra long free arm. I'm guessing you can detach these then. Uh, so, shall we have a look again and go through some of the standard accessories or the features and functions, whatever is easier for you, Joe? There we go, so we have UK exclusivity to the Elna 780 Plus. It is an incredible computerized sewing machine with the extremely large workspace. I always think the 680 has a big workspace. This has got an even, even bigger extension table that's included and that extra long arm uh, designed to, uh, to give you that extra space to, to, to sew any of your bags or any of your dressmaking, any of your soft furnishing. It has also got your Dual Feed Plus system. Your Dual Feed Plus systems, guys, multiple layers of fabric in perfect synchronization with amazing precision. No wonder Debbie absolutely loves this machine. I think this is going to be one that's next on John Con Morgan's uh, list by the looks of things. It's also got that professional, high performance foot and high performance needle plate. So, an extraordinary combination for sewing perfect curves and quarter of an inch top stitching is going to be extremely accurate. You've also got ruler work capability. So if you do want to work with, you know, any of your Westerly rulers or any other rulers like that, any templates and do some incredible quilting, you're going to be able to do that with the machine. Free motion as well, free motion quilters. If you want to free motion a whole huge quilt, it's going to be really easy on this machine because of the size of it. It's got four special fresh, uh, four special presser feet uh, that include an open toe, the foot height is adjustable and they can easily be changed with our clip on system, easy to change your feet. You've also got your memorised quilting seaming function for efficiently stitching a large number of blocks in the same size. So it's got that incredible memory. We've managed to take the free arm off so you can see, oh my word this is brilliant. So you can see your storage box is great. You've got loads of storage in there, but then you've also got this really nice big free arm to be able to really get into the nooks and crannies of your of any of your dressmaking projects or any of your bags. So that is ideal to have. You get less so many accessories and they all come in this lovely box. They all come in this lovely box, but as I say, you've got plenty of storage in your machine as well. Let's have a look at some of the standard accessories that come with this. So you've got your A foot as standard. Um, you've also got your rolled hem foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot, your blind hem foot, um, you also have your overlocking foot, your quarter of an inch seam foot, your quarter of an inch seam foot without quilting guide, your closed toe darning foot, your open toe darning foot, your free motion quilting closed toe foot, your free motion quilting open toe foot, free motion quilting zigzag foot. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? Um, you've also got your variable zigzag foot, your ruler work foot. So you actually get a ruler work foot with this. So those of you that have, uh, you know, seen any of the different ruler work feet that you can buy. Normally as an attachment, they can cost a lot of money. They can cost hundreds of pounds. So you do get that included. You also get automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizing plate, button sewing on foot, jaw feed foot uh, and holder. You also get your professional gray quarter of an inch, high performance seam quarter of an inch foot. 
your dual feed foot, my word, we're still going, there's loads, your professional grade needle plate, your high performance uh, separate state, straight stitch needle plate, your circular sewing pivoting pin, quilting guide bar, button, uh, button shank plate, cloth guide bobbin, seam ripper needle set, lint brush, spool holder, uh, You've got small, large and special ones of those. You've also got an additional spool pin if you want to do twin needling. Screwdriver, accessory case, touch panel, stylus, knee lift, extra wide extension table, foot controller, thread cutting switch, sw uh, stitch composer software, instructional DVD and semi hard fabric cover. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. So that software alone is incredible because it means that you can start to create your very own quilting stitches. And I'm guessing then, yep. It's got, um, it's got a USB, it's got a USB port in the side. So if you want to upload any of those onto it, any of your own stitches, you're gonna be able to do it really quickly and easily. So that really nice big sort of LED screen as well, um, which just like with the 680 plus, if you are familiar with Elna and Janome, then they're really, really easy to guide you through. Um, I don't want you to be overwhelmed by, of course, it is a considered machine. It's not something that you're just going to necessarily purchase willy-nilly without doing all this researching or without have, you know, been sewing for years. So if you are at that point of upgrading and you're familiar with Elna and Janome, then I'm presuming it's going to be kind of similar sort of setup when it comes to, to, to your to your touch screen. Um, what was it, sorry, that you were going to say, Joe? Is this like a, mag a magnifying glass that you can put onto it as well? Oh, that's your circle one. That's your circles. Is, is it like um, a quilting guide, guide bar? Gosh, I need to see all these. These are all cool accessories I've never seen before. Um, yeah. So uh, here's another features and functions slide. So you get 350 stitches, which we'll have a look through in a second, because once again, you've got a great selection of utility, buttonhole, applique, heirloom, quilting stitches, satin stitches, uh, which we will have a look at. So you get 300 stitches, 11 buttonholes, two alphabets, maximum sewing speed is adjustable. It's even quicker at sewing than the, uh, the 680 plus. If you're going full speed ahead, you can do 1,060 stitches per minute. My word. It's like having the Lamborghini, isn't it? It's like having that really fat, that's just brilliant to be able to even know, even if you don't necessarily use it all the time, it's just nice to know that it can go that fast. Uh, you've also got a nine millimeter stitch width, which I love because if you are doing maybe some of the monogramming, it means that you're going to be able to do a, a, a really great size when you're talking about um, nine millimeter stitch width. You've also got full color and high definition in your LCD touch screen, automatic presser foot lift. So that's an addition to the 680 plus. You're your dual feed system as well is something that quilters will absolutely love. It's almost like it's a built-in walking foot for you. Uh, that's similarly how a walking foot works. It's that sort of dual feed, but it's, that's built into the machine. Fantastic. You've also got your automatic foot pressure adjustment, your easy and uh, guided bobbin threader with built-in needle cutter, your automatic and programmable thread cutter, your nine high illuminated uh, LED lights in four different areas which I think I know it sounds silly but they make such a difference doesn't it because you've got the you've got the, uh, the the retractable front light as well which pulls out from somewhere doesn't it oh there it is so you've also got this light here I haven't got it plugged in but there's a little button there that pushes forward and you've also got if I spin that round that's probably easier for you to see that's absolutely fab, isn't it? To be able to have even extra visibility, having your retractable light. I'm, I'm all about having that extra vision when you're sewing. That is your uh, retractable light there. So, I'm so sorry, Joe, because I'm coming to, up to look at the stitches. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's literally like, oh, not again. Up, down, up, down, shake it all about. Oh, he's dragging his feet like he's Kevin and Perry. Oh, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> right, so your uh, stitches, as you can see, you literally lift the lid up at the top and you can see a quick reference chart of all of the stitches. Well, there's a couple of stitches there, isn't there? Oh my word, you've got, right, so it's all in nice sections as well. So these are your basic utility stitches, which they will do very, very well. This is the great thing. Don't get me wrong, you might not use all of these every day. These are the ones that you're going to be using all the time and they will sew them very, very well. You then also have all of your buttonholes, a range of 11 different buttonholes. You also have all of your applique stitches, which you are, of course, going to um, get a recommended default stitch width and stitch length, but you can override. So even though there are this many stitches, lots of these you can still sort of play about with a bit. Your heirloom stitches, lovely quilting. Here's all your quilting stitches. You've then also got your satin stitches. Does that say bridge? Bridge stitches. Oh, I want to know what bridge stitch stitches are. No, I don't know. Go on, tell me. Oh, Joe doesn't know either. He just said, you don't know what bridge stitches are. Message in, let me know. You then also got a great array of decorative stitches. Lovely long stitches. So some of these are really nice decorative, but sort of like chain stitches, longer stitches. You've also got some pictorial, your photograph stitches. One that's called play, which is uh, like a mannequin. You've got an umbrella. You've got love, sweet stitch. So even though this is an, an embroidery machine, you've even got a handmade. That one says handmade, so you could just stitch that onto any of your uh, on any of your machines. We haven't got a needle in it, have we? Um, we've also got the straight stitch needle plate, the quilt, the professional grade needle plate, and also your horizontal mirror image. So all of that. Uh, is included. Sorry, somebody's asked about my uh, us demoing, and we've plugged this in during the break, and it doesn't have any. There's no. We can't find a needle anywhere, and it doesn't have a needle in. So I would have shown you absolutely a thread cutter. Um, I wonder how we can do it. Oh, the needle threader, not the thread cutter. The needle threader. I can show you how it sort of works, but I. I hasn't got a needle in it to show you the needle threading. Well, what we could do is, I suppose, later on, we could put it onto the Facebook page, couldn't we? We could try and work out how to film one and put it on the on the page for you. Sorry, Joe. We could have a go. We just couldn't find a needle anywhere. We'll have to go upstairs and see during the break. There's only the three of us here, so otherwise we would have done. Absolutely. Uh, sorry about that. So. Um, back to the, the, the 780, sorry, I'm not on the screen. Uh, £1,999. Once again, I understand it's an investment. It comes with a huge array of accessories as we've been through and incredible features and functions. If there is anything else that you would like to know about this machine, then please do message in. Um, it, it is, as I say, considered purchase. It comes with two years warranty and it is exclusive to us here in the UK. That just shows our sort of connections with Elna, one of the biggest brands in the sewing world. Elna and Janome under the same umbrella and those of you that have seen Jane on air on any of the videos, uh, yeah, she's fantastic and we love her. Absolutely love her. Right, so... Both the machines, and again, if there's anything else that I can show you or tell you, I absolutely will. Keep your messages coming in. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Right, Laura, where are we going next? Let's absolutely do the bag, because um, I know that Debbie Shaw will always say this. When you get a sewing machine, store it you know, whether you, you've got your soft covers that come with it, whether you want to make yourself a bag or get yourself a lovely bag like this. Now, this is Janome. I think it will fit some of the smaller machines. Um, I'm not sure about... Have we tried it with the 680 before? What I love about it is that it's got that really nice, strong base. I'm guessing it won't... Mm, might be a bit of a squeeze, do you think? The 560... 550, that sort of range, I think you'll be fine with. Um, 44 pounds and 99 pence. But I really like it that it's got that really nice hard base. So you're going to keep your machine nice and protected, but then it opens from the front. So uh, 
I mean, you've got plenty of space in there, plus also extra zipper compartments if you want to keep any of your leads or bits and bobs in there, if you want to keep any of your pattern instructions. Maybe now you've made a bit of a lockdown resolution that after this is all over, you're going to go to uh, one of those workshops where you get to know your machine or you're starting a new sort of crafting club where you're all uh, like-minded people getting together and sewing so if you do want to join one of those communities and you're you know you're lugging your machine around then it's important to have a nice sturdy carry case it comes with a really nice extra long strap which is adjustable it just feels quality it feels like you're going to protect your machine and that's of course the most important thing it's ever so padded indeed 44 pounds and 99 pence if you want the full dimensions, in fact, what I might do is I might quickly measure it for you now, just to, just so that you can measure your machine. So the base of it, I'll do it in inches. The base is about, I say about, I think your actual measurements might actually be on the website, but I will do it quickly now, are eight inches by 17 inches. The height is 10 inches. And then what else do I need to do? The, like this way. So that one's seven inches. See, it might squeeze in. Might not be uh, quite tall enough. 12 inches high, the machine is. Laura's not sure. <laughs> okay. So that's your bag. Right, you know what I was saying about machine needles? Maybe we could put one of these in. We've got your purple tip, blue tip, super stretch, and red tip. So, all of your different machine needles, purple tip, blue tip, red tip, and your super stretch. Are they all gonna be a bundle or, no, we're gonna do these individually. So your red tip needles, your super stretch, I'll tell you in a second what all of these are useful for. Your purple and your blue tip needles. So the red to start with. Um, yeah. Right, so let me see, have a look through here. Red tip needles are your basic normal ones. They're great for cotton. They'll be perfect for any of your regular sewing and they are £5.50 for a pack of five. It's almost like with, um, we always talk about it when we, we're talking about changing your rotary blade. If you start to feel that it's not quite cutting through, if you feel that it's not quite piercing your fabric, you probably need to change your machine at needle. I didn't realise how frequently you probably do need to change it and you will feel it, different fabrics or different projects. If you're starting a new quilting project, quite often it's a good idea. If you're working, you know, with your cotton fabrics, these are good ones to just have ready for your for your going through doing your piecing. These are going to be ideal. But it's great to change your needle quite regularly. These are your size 14s, which is great for all of your medium weight fabrics. So you can use it on any of your sort of quilting weight, whether it be all linen, or quilting weight cottons, polyester. Anything like that, that, this is going to be ideal. So they're your red tip needle size 14s. Blue tip. Now, I'll always remember Helen Rhiannon, who uh, she's so lovely. She's amazing bag maker, dressmaker, toy maker, an all-round sewer. And she said, I was always told by my teacher, if in doubt, use a blue tip needle. It's just one of those universal needles that kind of just does everything. It will do the job for you. So here it says, pierced uh, it's got a pierce point and long groove. Excellent multi-purpose needle recommended for difficult or synthetic fabrics and machine embroidery. So if you are working with a particularly difficult fabric, I remember 
I remember when she used, she was working with the PU, it was in fact, and she was saying, oh, do you know, a lot of people ask me what needle to use for it. And she says, I would just always go for a blue tip needle. If you're working with any knitted fabric, obviously you can get specific jersey needles and you can get leather needles. But if you are struggling and you're just not quite sure working with synthetic fabrics of what needle to use, this is one I know so many people will recommend. You're getting all size 11 to five pound 50, five of them in there. It's worth stocking up, especially as I say, if you've already purchased, if you've already um, sort of, if, if you've already opened your order and paid your post and packaging, definitely worth adding those in. Purple tip needles. I've not actually, I don't know if I've seen purple need, purple tip needles. Very similar to the blue, Laura's saying, they've got a ballpoint a sort of head on them. Laura's saying these are better for higher density and thicker fabrics. Five pounds fifty. A purple tip needle effectively prevents skipping stitches when sewing stretch fabrics, quilt layers, and also for sewing across the hem. So if you're doing maybe big hems on dresses, I know um, that that can be very time consuming, whereas having the right needle is going to help you. You're sewing multiple layers with your fabric, like quilting. Um, these are going to be perfect for, for quilting through lots of multiple layers. Just £5.50 for all five of your purple tips. And do you have the graphics for the stretch, Jo? Yeah. So also your super stretch needles, those of you that are working with any jersey fabrics. Absolutely ideal for these. You've got size 11 and size 14s. For £5.50. Just a good chance. Remember, these are all available. If you go onto our website, I think they must be under the haberdashery section. Uh, you'll always be able to find all of our machine needles. And it's really good as, um, I think, one of John's top tips or Debbie's top tips. Is it John or Debbie? They say, change your, uh, your needle more sort of regularly than you actually initially think. So it's definitely worth having those ready stocked up in your stash. And bobbins as well. I always think these are all sort of not necessarily things that you think, oh, I need today or I want to buy today, but actually really, really useful, especially if you're doing a big quilting project, you want to wind all your bobbins ready to go so you're not spending that time where you could be quilting or you could be sewing, winding bobbins up. Lots of the machines, yes, have independent bobbin winders, but if they don't, it's definitely worth getting these all ready to go, loose bobbins just to, to, to maybe some of you just monochrome colours, your blacks, your whites, or any of the colours that you're using in your quilt design for £8. Right, there's a bit of a debate going on with these, if I'm honest. Can you use these in different machines? Now, these are Janome, and I would tend to stick with using my Janome bobbins with an Elner or a Janome machine. But so many people have said to me, oh, you're fine. As long as it's not a metal bobbin, as long as it's a plastic bobbin, then you should be fine. But don't quote me on that, because I don't want somebody to put this in a different machine and break it. I don't want to be held responsible for that. But Kat did tell me that she's able to use different bobbins with different machines. As long as they're not one with covers on or, you know, a specific, you'll be able to see if it's completely different to this. But, um, yeah, personally, the words are sewing street. The words that I'm going to say is if you've got a Janome or Alna machine, go with these. Use the Janome. Try and match up your brands. Eight pounds for all ten of your um, bobbins. The snips, the thread snips. What did you say, Sally? Um, these are my favorite scissors. They are so good. The little snips I absolutely love. Now, it's the first time I've seen these ones. We had them in with we had a different um, brand similar of these and they sold out. £2.99, great price as well. I like that they've got also the, uh, the little finger ring as well. £2.99 for your thread snips. 
and they are very, very sharp to the point. I'm thinking if you're cutting into any of your curves, whether it be with bag making or toy making or dress making, of course, how important that is to be able to release the curve almost, then this is ideal because you can get great precision, but also they uh, are very, very sharp. Lovely for your embroidery or great for, I mean, any sort of general multi-use little shears. They're really beautiful. And handy to have, as I say, the little um, the ring as well. £2.99. Have we had these on before, do you know? It's the first time I've seen them. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of an array of scissors and snips for you now. I've also got the embroidery scissors. Very handy to have. Uh, whenever I talk to, um, uh, I mean, even across at Jewelry Maker, it's, we always need scissors. As crafters, we always need little scissors like this. They're £12.99. They are beautiful. Soft, uh, what's it called, grip. But then also you've got that really nice sort of sharp point. They're ever so sharp indeed. Do be careful. And look, again, this Kai, K-A-I blades, they're ever so good they're renowned for for their quality and their sharpness just 12 pounds 99 really handy just to have at your sewing machine they're ready to go if you're doing any hand stitching as well or just to put in your sewing box just 12 pounds 99 for those the larger scissors come in a bit of a set so if you do need to stock up, I must say when I first started here I was overwhelmed by how many people hoard scissors i've had pictures and pictures of people who have said yeah i've got 40 pairs i've got i think debbie was saying she's got over 50 pairs of scissors we all like a good pair of scissors it's because you want to make sure you've got the right tools for the job so maybe you only use uh, these for your cottons or you only use these for your pu or you only use it with your leather um, or you only use this pair with your foundation paper piecing or you a pair to cut your bonder web if you've got a, yourself a little bit of a, a string or ribbon that you're putting around them so you know exactly what scissors are for what they're certainly not the scissors that you want your other half to be cutting the bacon with in the kitchen or something. <laughs> I know we're very protective over our scissors as, as crafters, but handy to be able to have two of your very professional scissors. So you've got your big eight and a half inch dressmaking shears, if you will, and then you've also got a really lovely pair of snips. Also notice what I like about these is um, sometimes smaller scissors have smaller uh, rings for your fingers, whereas these have got a really nice size. I know that that was one of my friend Mark Smith. He works over on a um, jewellery maker. He's a cross stitcher. And he said that these snips are fantastic because a lot of the stalk fingers don't fit his thumbs. £12.99. And they're from Janome, our good friends Janome. You know, you've got a brand you can trust when uh, you're looking at Janome, which is under, by the way, the same umbrella as Elna. So if you're looking at any of the machines and you've heard of Janome, they're, they're sort of like sisters, really, in the brands. Just £12.99 for Janome scissors. I have got the circular attachment. So, um, the circular sewing machine is ideal for sewing circles using straight stitch zigzag, straight stitch, zigzag, decorative stitches, or even lettering. Circles up to 26 centimeters in diameter, stitched perfectly using this popular attachment. So essential for craft and decorative work. This, oh, just so you know, that this attachment is compatible with models. They've got the same size hook, cover, and plate as illustrated. So that's the actual size of it. Let me see. Both of these machines look like they're the same size. It works with your Janome machines. I think that's what it sort of means. It's making sure that, you, you, again, you stay with the same brand. Um, please check size of your hook cover plate before purchasing. So yes, it, it is one of those that I think is gonna go with either the machines that we were looking at today or any of your Elna machines. If yours look similar to this, it's the actual size you'll be able to sew in perfect circles. It's gonna be great for doing some big circle quilting. 49 pounds.
Right. Lots of people umming and ohhing. I can see already that we've got people uh, with the 680 in baskets, people checking out on the 780 plus. A huge congratulations to anybody who is making that very exciting purchase today. What day is it today? Tuesday, Tuesday, last day of June. How exciting to be going into July with either of these machines. Right, we've got a question about the 680. D said, Janobi needles, fit your 680 plus, yes, they will. So any of those Shinomi needles, they will absolutely fit your 680 plus. Um, it's it's uh, the same umbrella, as I say, sister sort of brands between Shinomi and Alna, so lots of their products will all work in conjunction with each other. Um, I, I shouldn't really say this because the great thing about Sewing Street and what I personally love about this company is that we will show you lots of different brands, whether it be from needles to scissors to sewing machines we will show you different brands and we're not biased we're really really not we're, we're going to inform you of all of the different uh, features and functions so that you at home can make your own executive decision based on what you need as a sewer but this is one that I will always champion this is the one I will always champion because of friends who I know and colleagues that I've worked with in the past who are so is that have sewn for years that have worked with multiple machines that have then chosen to upgrade to this one professional sewers and hobby sewers that all like-minded like-minded and love this machine uh, for the fact that it's got a huge array of stitches it's got a huge array of utility stitches satin stitches decorative stitches uh, any of your uh, you can do monogramming as well and personalization which i love i love i love i love i really wanted to get an embroidery machine but i thought you know what with this machine, I can still do all of those sort of monogramming, personalization things that I want because it also has a memory. So I can do my name or my husband's business or my band that I sing in. I could do all sort of like personalized merchandise and bits and bobs for, for all my friends and family, which I love. And you could do it very easily by literally putting in, your me there's a memory button, selecting which stitches you want, clicking memory, select what stitch you want, and then memory, and just let it sew for you. Uh, there is a gentleman who I will not name, but a very, very good friend of mine, who I know has been doing lots of sewing during lockdown, and he uses this machine, and he said it virtually sews for you. Don't get me wrong, you still have to sew, but we've seen so many guest designers, you've seen Debbie doing decorative and twin needle stitching with this machine, and she almost just lets it sort of run through, just guide it through, but you will never need, and you should never do this anyway. If you see yourself or feel yourself tugging your fabric through your machine, um, you either got, haven't got your tension quite right or, you know, along those sort of lines, whereas this machine will, automatically sort of work out what tension it should be. It does your default settings for your stitch width and stitch length, so you're not gonna get lots of puckering. It's absolutely fantastic. If you do have any questions about it, get them into the Facebook page, and uh, if we can answer them, then we absolutely will. If we can't answer them, we'll find out for you. I've also got a question about the 780. Hi, Gillian. Yes. So the extension table that comes with the 780, sorry, it was down here, so I didn't um, see it. So what happens is that you would take, is, was there a button, Joe, or did you just give it a, there's give it a bit of a, pardon? There's a handle, oh yeah. So there's a handle underneath, you pull that up, if you're like me, struggling to get your free arm off, and then your extension table is huge. It comes with all of the feet, it's sort of laser cut around your machine and will slot in perfectly like that. So it is a big extension table. Imagine doing some quilting on this or even just if you've got the room to do it, keep that on if I were you because any sort of tension that you release from your needle is going to, to help with your extent, help with your, with your sewing. So if you've got all of your fabric all sort of balanced around, then it's going to help with, you, with your every, all, all of your sewing. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? So yeah, you do get that as standard and it's beautiful. It's laser cut, all slots in. Um, you do get, you don't need to obviously hold it. You get all of these little stands that adjust as well. So if you've got a wonky table, you can actually adjust it. So you can screw it that it's actually um, lies flat, which is great, isn't it? Uh, are there any more questions? Is there anything else that you want to ask? Oh yeah, that's the big foot pedal, by the way. 
it, it looks huge, doesn't it? You actually store all of your cable nice and neat and tidy away into there. All your cable comes into here, so don't think you've lost it. There's a separate foot as well that you can actually program. It has a memory, or it has, you can um, use the foot to uh, lift the foot, I believe, use as the thread cutter. All those different sort of features and functions that we can do as a memory on here, you can actually do it with an action. So the foot pedal, the main foot pedal, this one, Laura, yeah, has different heights on it as well, she's saying, so you can adjust it. Uh -huh. So you can have it in different positions. Gosh, there's so much, isn't there? There is so many amazing features and functions. It's just part the, the magic sort of uh, gadgets are endless, aren't they? It's amazing. Uh, so you do get both of those little feet. Little foot pedal as well to, to memorize. The, okay. So this, you also can screw underneath your big foot and the little foot so they can work as one, like a pedal board, if you're a guitarist. <laughs> so, right. Thank you so much for today. I told you it was jam-packed, wasn't it? Tomorrow's going to be brilliant as well. We've got another great day. We've got so many books, all of the fabrics to, to go through tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So do make sure you join me. Plus, our early bird special is awesome. At 9 o'clock, we've got fabulous fabrics. 10 o'clock, we're going to be talking more about dressmaking with dressmaking tools. Jenny McCreary sent in a great demonstration of her kimono top. She's a fantastic sewer. She's going to be uh, demonstrating that at 11 o'clock. Plus, then, we're repeating the dressmaking tools and fabric show from today tomorrow at lunchtime remember yesterday's delphine show is going to be up next and then stay tuned for jewelry maker from one i will see you at 8 a.m tomorrow morning check out as soon as you can see you tomorrow <laughs>